good. Hello, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Table Stories <laughs> Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hello. <laughs> Hello, friends. Hi. Hello. Again, I had to force everybody into the show. Because <laughs> now it's like we're going in, and then he's like, five seconds, and you're like, <laughs> wait, I have things to see still. My system is not quite emptied. Yeah, we should just to make sure that Michael's has got all of her. Uh, we need, we need <laughs> oh, no, I'm good. Yeah, Velchmance, I'm done. For, it's fine. Oh, no. Actually I got nothing to say. <laughs> Oh, I miss it. So before we get started today, I do want to say um, that obviously there's a lot going on uh, out in the world today. But, uh, you know, one of the th reasons why we do this show is to sort of escape for a while. And, and I mean, I put on my wizard hat and robe and, uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's escapism. And, and hopefully it's it's a little bit of a bright spot for people, you know, in these in these kinds of uh, horrific times. And and uh, it'll give you a chance to smile and laugh, etc. Um, so hopefully hopefully you enjoy it today and and we can we can make you smile a bit and, and you have a, a good time, at least for a little while. So um, welcome. If you haven't seen the show before, we do Harry Potter things here. Uh, I created a system uh, to get everybody involved in the uh, Harry Potter universe, the Wizarding World universe. Um, and if you'd like to try it out, or if you'd like to go follow all of these wonderful people, you can head on over to, to tablestory.tv uh, slash W-A-W, where you can click on all the links for these people, go follow them on all the places, and um, you can download the system. Uh, it's totally free. Just download it. You can play it and let me know what you think. I'm working on the next version um, that should have a bunch of new stuff in there. Um, but there's a lot of things going on, obviously. So uh, it's just been a bit delayed. Um, and uh, yeah. So why don't we go around the room? Let's introduce our players and uh, let's get started. It's time to it's time to escape. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go around the room and let's let's introduce everybody and your characters. Colo, would you be so kind as to start us off, please? Hello, I'm Colo. You can find me all over the internet uh, under the name Hello, it's Colo, or one word. Um, and yeah, I am a full-time streamer on Twitch. I also do some YouTubes, uh, and you can find me on Instagrams and Twitter as well. Hello, it's me. Um, I uh, I'm doing some kind of brief new game nonsense this week oh wow one day i'll be able to do this intro um i'm gonna be playing inside over the next couple of days so uh if you fancy uh, watching me puzzle over some puzzle games uh then please come and do that and like many of these lovely people here i'm just uh trying to be uh somewhere who uh somewhere and someone who just kind of welcoming in a little bit of an escape from the world um and basically just using any excuse to just hang out and chat to you guys that's kind of my jam um and i play Maisie skylar and i played quidditch last week oh my god and uh i just i don't know what's gonna happen about that today but i'm just incredibly excited and thank you for making that happen like literally dream come true so thank you absolutely glad i could help um thank you colo luxy I burped immediately before I unmuted my mic. <laughs> Hello! I'm Lux Games. I play, uh, I almost said Clementine. <laughs> I don't. I play Rosalina Earthcloud. That'd be such a great Clementine. troll. Like if Could you imagine? Oh you my god, can you imagine? We switch, we switch <gasps> looks? <laughs> no. Um, one day we'll have to do like a, like the polyjuice we... potion and we'll also. Oh, places. dude. Oh my gosh, yes. G. Sorry, anyways, <laughs> Wack is like, frick. <laughs> Um, I play video games. I do I it like all the time. I guarantee you, I wouldn't <laughs> miss a beat. <laughs> it's already actually written down. He's been like up late at night. I've already written the episode in my head as soon as you said it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I've been collecting hairs immediately for this moment. <laughs> um, so anyways. Oh, sorry, she I, has been collecting hair. Oh, oh my you god. Think, you think that Rosie doesn't have a reason? This is the long None game, guys. This is the long game. Potion <laughs> immediately the first method? thing. You don't have my hair. I know, I'm okay. trying though. You're the only person who doesn't change. Don't worry, I'll just pop over to the hospital wing and search the beds. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I would doubt that, but I really don't doubt that that's something that Rosie would do. <laughs> 
I think maybe it's something that Luxie would do also <laughs> as a person. Who said that it was? I cut my bangs live on stream this week, so if you're interested in that sort of weird content, who came oh, in and said Luxie that I was, was, was it? offering to send a hairbrush for people to use earlier, guys? Remember? I was She's also. To I oh yeah, I know. In my leftover hair. Was she? Was she? I'm gonna wrap oh, it like, off. <laughs> she was. What? So I Luxie's just not. playing herself, guys. She, just, yeah, you know, she literally she's a strange is. Strange hair collecting. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Luxie Games, and I'm a strange hair collecting gnome. Have you ever wondered what my pillows are full of? It's not feathers. <laughs> it's <hair. laughs> Anyways, I stream things. Nice to have you. Nice to be here. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Luxie! Virgos! <laughs> <laughs> I can't follow that. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Virgos. I'm playing Clementine Goosanders for y'all today. Um, I stream Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, 8 a.m. EST. Or I think now with the time change, it's 9 a.m. Um, and uh, I'm making a film live on Twitch. And this week we got pretty close to finalizing our um, animatic, and now we're doing character design. So. Uh, if you want to come see me have a artistic meltdown, that's the place to be. Uh, yep. Murgles on Twitch. Thank you. That should be part of, like, the art school experience. They should have, a, like, an artist <laughs> meltdown class where they just teach you to have a meltdown oh, no properly. Joke. They should it also sucks too have because... uh, uh, take suggestions from completely unqualified non-artists class. Oh, yeah. Like, that's the best thing is, like, when you're having the meltdown and you're like... I don't know what to do. It's like, I know what to do, really, but I just want to be dramatic in the moment. And everyone is like, we can help you. They just want to help. <laughs> or when you have the uh, when you when you have the exact thing that you want to do, but suddenly you just forgot how to draw. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. So hard. It's like you can't or... even draw a line. It's just like that line looks stupid. Oh, what yeah. am I doing? <laughs> I will literally say that too. Like I, I'll just like draw stuff and I'll be like, "What the fuck is that, my friend?" Oh no! Go, yay! I tried so hard, dudes. All right, uh, that's me. That's Thank you. Angel. Bye. <laughs> did I? Did I just miss her? <laughs> yes, you did. How, how did I miss that? Because I'm, she's yeah. so good at interweaving them into her normal speech patterns <laughs> that it's just that's a verb. I don't think that's true fact. <laughs> I, I, I'm starting to think it is true, actually, because I, I don't even hear it myself. Uh, um, thank you, Murgles. I shouldn't have said anything. You had your intro down, and then yeah, I, I know. and then I started to instigate, and I know it's my fault. I'll take the. You threw I'll me take out of my on. script. Yep. You know, <laughs> she's, she's got the I'm text file open on the screen. Yeah. It's like just read this. Exactly. I got the it. I've got the gun off the screen, you know, making sure I can do it right. Never mind. Shutting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Murgles. Uh, if as you've noticed, uh, we have no uh, Nega Oryx today. Uh, she she is without internet. She's she has been double cursed um, this this week. It's horrific. Uh, quarantine with no internet. Oy. Um, yeah. But yeah. go follow her and all the things anyway. Negorix everywhere. She's a broadcaster, host, uh, voice actor, incredible. all that good stuff. She's, she's got awesome. all those Harry Potter emotes. She plays Dead by Daylight. When she's not playing Dead by Daylight, she's busy being wholesome as Hecky. There you go. Thank you. That's all go, I have for Go Negorix. follow her on all the places. Many animals, lots of smiles, cute hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Lexi's got no idea how to do our intro and just does just a beautiful, perfect one. For <laughs> Nailed it. Like, could you imagine if that was like your intro? I am Negorix and I have lots of animals and cute hair. Come see me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy maybe it. One, maybe one day we should do each other's intros. Like, That's a introduce. good idea. That's a good idea. Maybe we'll do that, that when you fun. take your polyjuice potions. Somebody <laughs> said she probably, she probably doesn't collect hair. <laughs> I don't know. We can't say that for sure. We don't know if Negorix collects hair or not. She has a lot of wigs, to be fair. Maybe that's why she's got a lot of animals. 
Hair's got to come from someplace. So, Zagata kiss. Would you be so kind to do Why did she agree with that? I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Oh, hey everybody, I'm Zgodicus. You can find me on all the internet places. I'm Zgodicus on all of those. I play Alexander Pippin here. I'm a Ravenclaw. Not very sporty. Um, and, and, and not very other stuff. But likes magic and is, is, is pretty smart. So, so there's that. Yeah. But I, I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. I, last week was so exciting. And I want the the aftermath of the excitement. I want to see Kolo cry. <laughs> Why? <laughs> from from being overwhelmed about being so happy about being a first year who somehow made it into the first game as seeker and then won the game for her team dramatically during the worst weather conditions that you can get basically. I mean, it's That's your really last not unusual for me well. to cry because I'm overwhelmed and emotional on stream. It's not like that doesn't happen. In fact, I even have an emote to describe it because it happens. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Thank you, Sagaticus. I'm Wax Steven, and I will be your headmaster of Doom. I'll be dragging the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. But first... I have a little bit of a surprise. I have a little bit of a surprise. It's a very good, happy surprise. It's a happy surprise. Ice cream? No, it's not ice cream. Uh, but I was, uh, I was in fact interviewed by a certain member of Colo's community, Millstone Barn. Did a little bit of an interview with me uh, a while ago, and look what I have here. The Parallel Worlds magazine. What do we find inside the Parallel Worlds magazine? Hey. <laughs> that kind of looks like witchcraft and wizardry to me. Oh my god! Look at that. My art That's has awesome. been published. Yes, it has. Yep. Yes, it has. Wait, wow, you cool. didn't even tell Muggles? No. He didn't tell me. <laughs> Millstone, Millstone Barn gave me the heads up. Thanks, Millstone Barn. <laughs> um, there's an article in there uh, specifically about live streaming TTRPGs, a new immersive experience um, that that uh, does a bit on table story and witchcraft and wizardry and Zero Blue Orion. If you'd like to check it out yourself, you can head on over to parallelworlds.uk, www.parallelworlds.uk, um, and uh, you can check it out. Um, there's there's actual physical copies of the magazine that you can that you can pick up, and uh, there's a, a, a like a podcast version, uh, I think, as well. If you want to like uh, check that out, um, but yeah, it was pretty amazing. Uh, that's pretty cool. Something uh, you know. Uh, that I think Table Story is extremely appreciative about um, in general. So thank you so much for, for doing the interview. Um, and uh, and we're, we're in a magazine. That's pretty great. That's pretty great. So thank you so much. Um, Yay! Anyway, it's time to get started. Everybody ready to get magical? Everybody ready to have your wands and stuff? Pretty much ready, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, let's get started with the show. On the last episode of Witchcraft and Wizardry, uh, the group recovered from their journey into the Vanished Wing. Um, there was an extended, uh, sort of multiple day hospital wing visit while they were recovering. And Alexander uh, managed to, I guess, sort of explain the things that had generally been going on to uh, Headmistress McGonagall and, um, and his father, Professor Pinescrew. Um, there was a, a bit of an emotional moment as uh, Professor Pinescrew um, gave Alex uh, a bit of a hug, even though they have a, a fairly distant relationship. And um, and said that he wouldn't he wouldn't um, 
He wouldn't know what he would do without Alex. And the um, the group had their meeting with Headmistress McGonagall, and uh, there was there was a there was a there I mean there was a penalty that happened, and there was also some some good things that happened. Um, they got a week of detention. Uh, and, uh, they lost some points and they gained some points and, um, there was, there were, there was some back talking and, uh, there was some normal, I think, 11 year old behavior that was going on. Um, and, uh, we did a little bit of a time skip. We did a little bit of a time skip to the uh, first Quidditch match, which, by the way, I misspoke. Um, it's still 2019, and it's in November. Um, that's when the uh, first Quidditch matches get started. Um, not only that, but if you're in the Discord, uh, we also had a Discord Quidditch game going on at the same time. It was Ravenclaw versus Slytherin in the Discord, and Ravenclaw grabbed the win over there. Um, and a pretty tense game, by the way. Like, it was... People were going crazy in the Discord. They were going nuts. That was an intense game. That was really close, and then it kind of got out of control right near the end. Um, but, uh, mostly a pretty close game. And, uh, Kujio did an amazing uh, amount of work on the bot with Noodle. Uh, Noodle Leaf. Um, uh, who assisted with some of the, uh, some of the writing and stuff. Um, so shout out to them for doing such a great job. Um, and, uh, the sort of main attraction, uh, in the last episode was the Gryffindor versus Hufflepuff match, the inaugural game, um, for this year, uh, at Hogwarts. And, uh, after I rolled, uh, a legit double one, I rolled Snake Eyes to uh, have the <laughs> Gryffindor Seeker basically take a header um, and uh, <laughs> uh, crash, uh, allowing Maisie in uh, to be a first-year Seeker from the second string coming in. Um, and uh, not only did she come in and the rest of the group cheer for her, but they did so well cheering for her that Maisie was able to secure a victory, grabbing the snitch in her first game as a first-year student for Gryffindor. It was a pretty epic time. A pretty epic time. So, today's episode, we're starting with the uh, aftermath. Um, you've sort of uh, been granted the win, and you have uh, sort of gone back, I guess, to um, like the the uh, changing area, I guess, right after uh, the match and whatnot uh, with the rest of the uh, Gryffindors. Um, there is still some like uh, some like um, music and things going on outside. Uh, people are still. People are still sort of amped up outside. You can still hear the crowd sort of chanting um, in the in the uh, background and whatnot. And um, it's still there's still that atmosphere of of uh, of a game sort of like well played. So Maisie, you are. Um, I guess getting yourself together, like all the all the teams, kind of like patting you on the back and whatnot, and uh, there's uh, they probably unexpectedly like grab you and start like tossing you into the air, and <gasps> they're sort of they're giving you like a bit of a chant. Maisie, Maisie, you're amazing! Oh, Maisie, I, Maisie, I, you're amazing! I, I, I guess I was probably just very lucky. <laughs> Good on you, first year. Um, is, is, is he okay? I feel really bad. I feel really bad that we 
I'm trying to whisper to the captain, trying to, I feel like I'm probably just being like carried away in some way and just trying to, uh, I think she's just worried that it's going to be a problem that everybody is celebrating her taking over and that's because of somebody else getting really unwell. Um, and I think that's kind of maybe, maybe the vibe. Is he okay? Please, please tell me he's okay. Is oh, he okay? I wouldn't worry about uh, Alistair. You know, he's a bit of a blockhead anyway. A blockhead? Oh, yes. He's very hard-headed, don't worry. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, well, I guess we... Where are we going? <laughs> um, so yeah, they, they, they just kind of, like, toss you up in the air and whatnot, and they'll probably, like, put you down. Uh, Lily kind of, like, runs over and just, like, grabs, you know, <gasps> just throws Lily. you into a hug. Oh, my! That was so good! You were so good! I saw you! You were zipping around! And you ran right by! And you grabbed the stitch! It was great! Oh my god! Lily! Oh, thank you so much, Lily! Just, like, grab her and give her a big cuddle as well. I think. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lily! Oh my goodness, this is so exciting! Where's Swarf? Lily, where's Swarf? And, and Rose, uh... Rose will sort of come up and, and say, Wow! Good job, first year! Thank you. Thank you. Um, it was a, 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 a team effort, you know? It was a rough match till you caught that seeker. I, I, I don't really know what to say. Uh, it all happened so quickly. <laughs> we won. Good job. The first match of the season. My dad is going to be so proud. Um, it's probably, like, at that moment, um, that, uh, uh, you see, like, Pandora, um, the, the team captain, um, she'll sort of, like, peek ahead out, uh, from the, um, you know, from the, like, curtain, like, the parted curtain, um, and she says, Is it okay if the parents and teachers come in? Uh, parents? Well, yeah. Is my dad here? Do me a favor and please roll me. A convince roll. Uh, uh, okay. Roll me a d2. Which one's your dad? What does he look like? Um, he's, um, probably wearing everything Gryffindor. I mean, he's not a Gryffindor, but I think that that's probably what he's, what he's doing. Um, he, he's, he's, he's kind of tall, um, and he, I mean, he's a little bit rounder, um, than he used to be, and he's very focused, and he's, he is probably wearing glasses that don't really, that don't really fit, and he has to push them up his nose like a hundred times, um, but it's my dad, <laughs> you know, um, uh, he's, he's a little bit nuts, but he's not quite as nuts as my mom, like, oh no, is my mom here? Um, so she's kind of, she's sort of shaking her head, right... Uh, should we let them in? Are you all done changing? Yeah, I, I, I just look around at everybody else and let them answer. I don't really know what the etiquette here is. Yeah, uh, people are sort of like celebrating a bit. Um, but uh, yeah, there's probably a few people that have changed and probably a few that haven't. Okay. The general think... consensus is, you know, they're they're kind of ambivalent. I think I I just um, all right turn coming in. Their hey. She opens up the uh, the curtains and then it's like family like just get uh, starts pouring in um, and yeah uh, you see your dad like right in front. <laughs> oh my word! <laughs> you did it! 
I, I run up here, uh, at him and do this thing that we used to do when I was little and we haven't done in absolutely ages, where I like run at him and like jump, I'm like piggyback on the front, like, rah, like and just, just, just lifts me up. That's just a thing that we used to do. That was, I, uh, I, I was just thinking about you and all your stories that you told me about and the books and everything. And I didn't think I was, I, I, I don't think that I was going to be able to do it. I did it. You did it! <laughs> well done! I, d I did it. I, I was, I have to say, I was very impressed. You were? Well, of course. <laughs> I mean, I'd be impressed regardless of you, well, just by playing. But you, 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 you did it! You caught the snitch! <laughs> I did it. In your first game! In <laughs> your first game! <laughs> Unbelievable! Is, is Mummy here? Um. No, dear, I'm sorry, she couldn't make it. No, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. I wouldn't have wanted her to get, um, you know, like, overwhelmed and stuff, you know. Dad, I have to introduce you to my friends. Oh my goodness, I have to introduce you to my friends. Are those the, the students that were outside? Probably. I don't know. Is one of them got, like, a weird hair thing? Gosh, she did something to her hair, I think. Oh, but there's one with a wonderful hat. Maybe that's her. I don't know. That's Wolf. Oh my goodness. Dad, you're gonna like them so much. You're gonna like them a lot better than, um, than Lucinda and I just... Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, no, no, no. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have said... I shouldn't have said that. I mean, they're lovely people too, but I think... They're... Oh, um, okay. Okay, can, can we just go and see them? Can we just go and see them? Oh, there's Rufus. Uh, uh, did you hear me? Ah, uh, Rufus. He, he kind of... Oh, good job. Well and done. You, good job to you too. You did really well. <sighs> oh, how you doing, Mr. Skylar? Hello, Rufus. Good to see you. Um, unfortunate bit that uh, you weren't able to play today, but, um... Uh, sir, uh, I, I was playing, sir. Oh! Who are you? Sorry. You'll have to forgive me. I was so enthused by... Um, it's fine, sir. Don't worry. Um, anyway, um... Right, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you uh, to it. Um, uh, maybe your friends, uh... Your father, like, there's a lot of people in here um, that are sort of milling about, like, and, um, you know, they're, they're various families, like, uh, saying hello to their kids and whatnot. Um, so it's, like, a little bit, your father looks a little awkward in this situation, just in general. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, do, do you want to go outside, Dad? Um... Let's yes. go outside. I just grab. Oh, I right. just grab before he can even answer. I just grab his hand uh -huh. and like run outside. Yeah, it's definitely like one of them. <laughs> yeah, you almost collide with Swaff outside. <laughs> uh, yeah, we bump. <laughs> you did amazing. You amazing. With an extra like, amazing. Oh, amazing. <laughs> And then you, and, and there's the, and then the, the whole, oh yeah. When, you, uh, so, uh, hello, oh. sir. Hello. Uh, is this your? Is this your? Did you create your, her? She's amazing. That, you did she's an amazing. Job. Really hello, Mr. Nice. Mr. Macy. So Mr. nice to meet you, Mr. Macy. You're, you're great. To put a little hello. extra magic in. If she's anything like you, you're our new best friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Do you want a bean? <laughs> <laughs> wink. Uh, oh, hey, oh, wink please don't. Please, please, please don't. Do that. That's probably um, not a good idea. Uh, sorry. Um, I was really, you did really good. Thank you. Um, oh, Dad, are there are good you dirty bots, every flavored beans? You say, oh, you yes, put them in yes. I always carry I would love one. Thank you. 
Do you want a sandwich? Sandwich? I don't do you know have what bread? that is. Rosalina, do you have any bread? Do you have bread? Do you have bread? bread. Get some bread. Get some bread. Some bread. Okay, okay. Manzi, a Manzi bean sandwich. Who else is in? We need Okay, four. Maisie, don't worry. We got this. Maisie okay, quick. The bean sandwich, so I'll go in with him. Okay, we got it. I don't yeah. quite understand what's going on here, Maisie. It'll be right. delicious. The beans and oh, you'll love it, sir. You'll put love it. On to the Just, sandwich. And what then are you doing with that bread? Can you make it into... Go into a lot okay, here you go. Here you go, Mr. Maisie, Mr. Skyler. Uh, go ahead and try and convince him, please, Alexander. <laughs> I don't mean... <laughs> I feel like he'd probably be e easily convinced he got into a lot of well, trouble at school. Like, he was... Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. On a 10. Uh, yeah, he just takes the sandwich. And he just... <laughs> he just chows just, down it, on it. It's amazing. Cheers. <laughs> I like look up at my dad like sideways up like dad quite an amalgam of flavors mm. oh. I'm getting a lot of mm. flour is that Is flour? it more than one? flour and flowers and mm. perhaps a bit of paper wool maybe oh I think mm. I'm eating. I think I'm eating hair. I think it's just. I think it's just cat hair. I think I got a cat hair bean. What does the cat hair bean taste like? I don't so know. chewy. Don't tell. Did you all have a don't. sandwich? Yeah, I ripped it into four and handed it. Out. Oh, okay. Yeah, then uh, <laughs> everyone, we need D3s everyone, from everyone, from everybody that had a sandwich. Okay. Oh, no, Rosalina! Yeah, yeah cat hair yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> Clem, oh. yours is delicious. What is it? Mm, roast Thanksgiving turkey and cranberry sauce. Oh, the odds. What's Thanksgiving? Oh, you're having a good day. Oh, uh, what? What's Thanksgiving? Oh, I'll just, it's a oh. local thing. I'll tell you about it later. Oh, okay, okay. It's like a mini Christmas, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Who had oh, the Christmas. last, okay. who had the last bit? Oh, I did. Oh, did you take my role as to be for him? Okay, I'll do another one for me. That's fine. Oh, I got a good one then. Oh! Wait a minute. Oh. Surprisingly, I got, I got, I got, you call it cotton candy. Yeah, I got cotton oh. candy. Um, the meal, do you always get the good ones? I sometimes get good ones, sometimes get, you know, it's the luck of the draw. But I had a friend chocolate. that always Can had good bean well? luck. Do you think is that like a thing? thing? Like a medium for the beans? He knows which beans feel the... Can yeah. you feel the vibes of the beans? It is possible, <laughs> perhaps. Uh, when I was in school, Professor Trelawney might have studied them at some point. I'm not quite sure. <gasps> You she studied the beans? beans? Divination by beans? You study beans for a living! Well, Divination. From what I understood, Professor Trelawney studied various things at the school, often very unorthodox. Oh? You think we like could make what? bean tea? <gasps> so, a, what kind of unorthodox yeah. things were you talking about there, um, sir? Well, I'm not entirely sure. There was quite a bit to go on with, um, well, um, there was a, there were certain groups of, of students, uh, a bit, uh, older than, than, uh, well, a bit, I suppose a bit younger than me, um, the, the Potter boy. Um, and his friends. There was a lot going on with Professor Trelawney back in the school in those days. But it wasn't one of them's names Weaselton? Weas Weaseltown. Weaseltown? Uh, perhaps you mean That's Weasley. That's a rough name. Oh, Weasley. Knew it's there not was better. In there. It's there not better. There were a few Weasleys, right, Dad? Oh, yes, quite a few Weasleys. So you could say they were kind of a Weaseltown. A town of weasels, please. <laughs> Population, many. 
<laughs> be, nice, be nice to them. They all have hair like, like, like me and Olive. Where's Olive? Oh. Yes, where is your friend with the hat? Do you think maybe when her hat got wet, the magic like wore off and she had to run off and take it off her head? Before, do you, you think like, the lions started roaring and they gave her a headache? She, the lions on her hat were roaring. Yeah. Maybe they attacked her. I, yeah. I was Sorry, seeing I some was sparks playing. and things shooting off. Perhaps some charms were <gasps> oh, no. seemingly malfunctioning. Backfiring. Oh, don't think they didn't get oh. stuck in her hair. Doing. Probably not. We She's have, probably we fine. Need to Maybe watch on. taking a warm shower. Oh, uh, Mr. Skyler, do, do you know any hair grow potions? Hair grow potions? Have you heard of one? Oh. I just remember because we were talking about it. Well, potions. Uh, I've studied various potions. Uh, there are a few <laughs> hair grow potions, I believe. That, um, okay, perhaps. Um, <laughs> they sell some, if I'm not mistaken, at uh, the Weasley shop. The Weasleys have a oh. shop? Oh, Daddy, yes. you're encouraging us to be naughty. <laughs> Wait, what's the Weasley shop? Oh, are you yeah, going to use can... your hair growth potion for nefarious ends? Probably. Mm. I mean, well, yeah, of I course. Mean, no, no, definitely not. Oh, we sorry, no. To, that for if sure I not. give my toad the hair growth potion, my toad will have hair like Rapunzel. You should definitely what's do it Rapunzel? then. Rapunzel? It's a fairy tale princess with hair as long as, like, I don't know, a mile, maybe. That's very long hair. I don't I think I've ever heard of a, a potion granting hair for a mile long. Significantly less than that, usually. Hmm. Well, but it well, would if, still get my toad hair. Okay, Pretty so cool. there's definitely hair grow potions, so that means that we can do that. Okay, but back to questionable things that happened in divination. Um, What other things, sir? You, 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 were, you can tell us saucy school secrets from the past, and we'll maybe share some of our saucy school secrets from the present. You'll, you'll, yeah, we have a lot. You see for a second that his face sort of goes white, and um, there's a there's a sort of like muffled, excuse me, as Dad? someone uh, makes their way into the uh, tent. Sort yeah. of, not not a tall man. Uh, black hair, uh, probably like five, six, five, seven. That? Do I know who this is? Hey, hey uh, mister, uh, did we say uh, something wrong? Was it you the don't bean need sandwich, sandwich, sir? I have it a might cookie. Have been the bean sandwich. Uh, you can try and notice something, Maisie. <laughs> I don't know if you saw who this was. Uh... Oh. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and, and uh, choose from the uh, notice something list two questions. Um. Uh, what did it look, smell, sound, feel, or taste like? I assume you want the look option there. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Uh. That looked like Harry Potter just walking into the Gryffindor tent. Um, can I also ask if there's anything sneaking around? But I mean, more like, is there anything uh, obviously off? Like, is there any? Are there any secrets? I guess is what I'm trying to like trying to pick up on the vibe there about the sneaky thing. Yeah. Um. Sort of making their way uh, past the group right now um, is a very suspicious-looking character. Uh, taller, um, and wearing, uh, what appears to be a, um, like a, a disheveled looking, but nice outfit, um, sort of like a rumpled, uh, outfit, and it's mostly red, it's Gryffindor colors, um, but, uh, there's like a something wrong with their face. It looks like their face is droopy a bit. Okay, and I don't recognize. They're this taller. Person. They're probably about mm, maybe five ten or so. But I, d I don't recognize them. Nope. Something's definitely up with that, though. Um, guys, guys, that's Harry Potter. Oh uh, my I'm word! Sorry, it was Harry is it, Potter. Isn't that Lily's dad? Lily's dad, right? 
No, it's Harry Potter. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with my dad, though. I don't know who that other dude is. It's Harry Potter. He's here. Harry Potter's here. Oh my. Is he a what nice man? It? Sir, oh my. yes, Harry Potter, like a nice... Do we, do we like I him? Go? He, he caught a lot of snitches for Gryffindor. Oh, really? So many. You think he likes so cookies? Yeah, I definitely. We should go give him a cookie. a cookie. Okay, can we go and Okay, let's go. You yeah. should ask him, him for cookie. tips, Maisie. You need to ask him for tips. There's another what? person that you recognize uh, walking past Maisie. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think I'm not even going to make you do a roll here. Um, this is, in fact, uh, Genervra Potter that is making her way past your group right now. Genervra Potter? Who's that? Ginny. <gasps> <laughs> Former professional Quidditch player for the Hollyhead Harpies. Oh my god, you guys! <sighs> and that's. Excuse that's me. All, also good. So, um, hi, excuse, excuse me. Hi, hello, excuse miss. Excuse me. J hello. hello. Um, um, would, you, we'd like to introduce the, the winning seeker catcher, the you catching guys, seeker. You guys, no, I just. Um, this is Maisie. Is your first oh, year? Try, try and convince. Um, thank you. Because um, I feel like you're being like really quiet for some reason, like as you're doing this. Me? No, uh, no. Alex. Okay. <laughs> oh! One. He's horrible at these rolls oh, too. Oh my gosh! <laughs> We're bad at them. So, uh, she sort of stops. Oh, oh hello. Um, it's a great game. Uh, uh, Congratulations. Uh, thank you. I just, um, I, I just want to say that, um, you're a really big inspiration to me. And, um, I've followed a lot of your matches and, um, uh, thank you. <laughs> Seems like you don't yeah. even need me for an inspiration. You're doing great. <gasps> Keep it up. Don't fall off your broom. I'll try not to. It really That's hurts. It race. <laughs> she was nice. And she she kind of like walks into the tent. Who who was that? I didn't that? know who that He's really pretty. was, but I yeah. saw Maisie's face yeah. and I had to stop her. I feel like it has to be someone Mr. important. I feel like Mr. Skyler, by the way, is also like <laughs> he's like doing the same stuff that Maisie is, just like in adult <laughs> form. They've both gone like sh like completely white, like flushed, you know. Um, <laughs> just. <sighs> Do you hear what she said? Well, you are yeah. pretty good. You probably don't even need anyone's help. It's true. It just. Oh, Rosie just Maisie. wraps her arms yeah. around Maisie. Yeah, Can we hugs. do a group hug? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is this really happening? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I'm afraid so. I have a lot of emotions right now. Do you yeah. let them all out? Just do you need feel snack? Them. It's normal. <laughs> I just... Oh, that's all. Is she okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think she's fine. She just kind of made a... I, I wish I would have gotten a picture, but her hat was it was really phenomenal. Else. Yeah, yeah. She those... had lions. She charmed it. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about all of the hero of Hogwarts. I don't think a little hat malfunction is going to do any long-term harm. Exactly. All of the next to Maisie, the hero of Gryffindor. Hey. So we've got a pretty yeah. good team going on here, is what I think. I yes, am Rosalina, heroes. hero of the kitchens. Oh, I will be oh. making your match oh. today. Yeah. I don't know what to do with myself. Um, just cry, but while smiling and eating this cookie. All three. Just, she just eats it out of Rosalina's <laughs> hand. It's Gryffindor. I, I made them. I also made Hufflepuff ones, but they lost, so we'll pretend those aren't there. They're Mr. just Skyler, yeah, they're not by ones. the way, is still finishing the sandwich, even though it tastes like wool. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you Dad, you don't have to eat that. Oh, be polite. Otherwise, would you, would, would you like a cookie instead? You don't have to eat that. No, this is yeah. fine. It's really good. Oh, you're done. So cool. Maybe yeah. you'll make a sweater. All that wool in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it 
I mean, it could be worse. Yeah, it could be cat hair. You could have a cat hair sweater. Oh, yeah. It could be drain. You could actually <gasps> get a cat hair, hair sweater. Oh god, you know oh what I was eating. Don't was think about it, me. Oh my god. Think about it. I'm gonna think about catching the stitch. Think about catching the stitch. What did you do? Catching the stitch. Uh, catching the stitch. Uh, Are you alright, Maisie? Uh, uh, I didn't have a very good bean. <laughs> oh, that seems horrible. I can't forget it now. Well, just another amazing memory to remember on top of catching the snitch. Catching so the there's two. I forgot and... for a minute. <gasps> Here's a good question. If you knew that you had to eat the drain hair in order to be strong enough to catch the snitch, would you still do it again? Oh, I would definitely do it again. <laughs> okay, another bean, oh, Alex. She, she Let's get her another bean. She said that I was... Clem! She's, she's, oh, she's, she's celebrating! <laughs> she's We're not celebrating with a bean! No, that's not celebrating. That's truth or yeah, dare, okay. but with food. But yeah, okay. I, I, I'm not listening to them right now. Like, I'm totally <laughs> absorbed in this. Like, in this, like, amazement that this, this <laughs> woman that I just think is fantastic has just told me that I'm doing a good okay. job and recognized that and watched me and crit, like mind blood I, I, I've totally remembered there out of my brain like a mm -hmm. bubble what, what, what are we going to do to celebrate we need to have a celebration to celebrate Maisie's amazing performance well yeah. we have to have a party yes but how do Obviously. we do that if we're not allowed in each other's common rooms we throw well, it in the can great we do it in the great hall for asking. yeah well here's with what you we on can that. do you see, uh, since I am in fact with you, uh, I I have uh, permission to uh, take the lot of you to Hogsmeade. What is Hogsmeade? What Are there I pigs like the there? word. Yes, I'll be your chaperone, of course. Are all the Gryffindor team coming? Um. Well. Do you want to ask Lily? I think oh yeah, could. yeah. Lily, yeah, Lily so at well. least. Lily, at least, and and then then it's like you know a, it? a bean sandwich outing. I think yeah. I think you get this like your your dad starts to like. Uh, yeah, um, you know, uh, he's just, <laughs> he, he's doing the equivalent of like checking his wallet, you know, like slyly. You know, he's like. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, if if we invite Lily, then um, wouldn't wouldn't she has family here? Would her family come with her? Yeah, why not? We just have a whole party. We'll bring parents. The parents can hang yeah, out. Yeah, we can invite we'll them. Right. Yeah, that sounds nice. We should go ask Lily. Uh, yeah, let's go ask Lily and, and yeah, her yeah, yeah. her family. Um, and mm -hmm. and and Mr. Macy, I have been working some odd Mr. jobs. So, uh, Skyler, dear. Sorry, Mr. Skyler. I always forget people have last names. It seems so earthly. Why do we have? Anyways, I have my own money, so would, you don't have you to worry. Would you be so kind, by the way, uh, Maisie, to introduce your friends? Oh, oh, <gasps> oh! Did we even say oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. We were just so excited, oh, no. and you yeah, we wanted to. Yeah, we would be so embarrassed for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, it's fine. I'll go first. Or do you want to? This is Alex. Uh, Maisie. Um, this is this is Alex, and he um is. He is very kind, and um, he's. Uh, I just. I. I think that, that, that you guys would um would get along. He's a um a Ravenclaw like mum. Um, and it's just, you will really like. Also, he's really good at the spell with the thing. Like Barney, show him. Oh. I've been practicing a little bit. <clears throat> Go ahead and cast the spell, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alex's luck today is holding out. Are you sure you're not it says, Irish? <laughs> it says, uh, hello, Mr. Skyler. Very impressive. Very it's impressive. It's really good. Yeah. I have a friend who can talk normally, and he uses this spell, so I practice with him, and I think I'm getting pretty good now. 
and um uh, o o olive isn't here um but she has hair like my dad <laughs> like my i met somebody else with hair like my dad and um and she's, she's a hero. very good at spells and she's a hero and she's the one w one with the hat um and she's a, a gryffindor and um uh, she's a, that's olive um and um, it was quite a spectacular hat i must say a really she's good a hat. very spectacular yeah. person. Um, yeah. And um, this is this is Rosie, Rosalina. This is this is Rosalina Earth Cloud because we have to do the surnames too. Right? This Sorry. is this is Rosie. Sorry for my daughter. I will have to reprimand her for not sending me more letters and telling <gasps> me about all of you. You have to write your dad when I write my dad's from now on. Rosie writes Which to her can dad's do all the time. And she's like she's all the time. Puff, like you. <gasps> You're a Hufflepuff. Uh, yes, Hufflepuff. I am. And he played Quidditch for Hufflepuff. Oh wow! What's and it he, like? And I've, he works on mm, on Quidditch at the Ministry. I'm not very uh, coordinated, but that's really impressive. That must be where she gets it from. Well, thank you. I I like to think so. <laughs> And, um, and this is Clem, and she's, she's very wise, um, oh. and also v very kind. Um, oh, and Rosie, R Rosie always has food. She has mashed potatoes in her pocket, Dad. It's oh, really I do. Nice. Do you want some mashed potatoes? And she's, yep. You she's keep them in your pocket? Yeah, yeah, I normally make them before I come out, and then I put them in my individualized pockets. They're special for food. I sewed them myself. Go ahead and uh, make a convince roll, please. <laughs> Uh-huh. With with a plus one forward with my relationship with Maisie, right? Uh, surely uh, a plus one forward with your relationship with Pocket Mash. Uh, it's just a regular roll here. Dang, I really tried. <laughs> <laughs> On a seven to nine, you choose one from the convinced list. Uh-huh. Um, they, uh, they do it. But they're now terrified of you. I've never <laughs> used it. Now's the time. In, in, from from your um, pocket, you keep the mm -hmm. really good, Dad. Potatoes. It's like lunch boxes, but made of fabric that I wear on my body inside of my yeah inside you of. You yes, worried it all about? Uh, hmm. Mm. Can I try I and convince him? Can I? I suppose I'll I'll, I'll have a, a, a right. Yes, it's um, delicious. You can grab it of yourself. I also um, have some spoons just, now. Just a little oh, spoons, yes. Here's a spoon. I suppose just a small bit. It'll be fine. Yep. All right. Here's a, sp a spoon of mash. He's like, he gives you like a little bit of a look out of the corner of his eye, Maisie, that, you know, he's just, he's like a little worried. Can, can I convince, can I try and convince him? That no, the convince rule's already been done. <laughs> okay. But I mean, like, yeah. not convince him to, to do it, but just, like, convince him maybe after he's eating it, like, try and change his mind about how really good it is. <laughs> the the, the, the best thing Change ever. the flavor. Um, sure. <laughs> uh, he, he... Not change the flavor, but change his opinion of it. Yeah, he just... <laughs> I, think, I think that when I am scooping out from this pocket... Uh, your dad catches like a glimpse of a pocket at the very bottom that has not been cleaned in a minute and it's just moldy. So your dad takes the bite, but from now on out, he just has a constant fear that all of my pockets are actually molded. <laughs> There's, it goes a little so green, cool. like his, he takes a microscopic <laughs> bit of, of potatoes. <laughs> yeah, he just, just, just a, a, a tiny little. Good, good, right? I go in the kitchens every day and make them. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, the fat right. fryer loves them. Are we going to ask Maisie? Uh, ask. Um, my brain's not working. I'm so excited. We're going to Hogsmeade. Should we go ask Lily? Ask Lily yeah. with us? Yeah, we should definitely. Uh, should. Should. Just, just a few of your this is friends. Clem. Uh, perchance. Uh, uh, Maisie? This is Clem. I didn't tell you. This is Clem. Yes, yes. Oh, sorry. oh, oh you, you did. She's, she's, she's wise very wise and, and very nice. smart, oh. and she has a cat. But don't let that put you off, Dad. Why would it's he... a very nice cat. Um, his name is Moss, and he's more water than cat. Um, and he uh, loves to talk and be with be with people. Um, a uh, great conversationalist. Uh, yeah, uh, you should meet him sometime. He's a great guy. <laughs> um, hmm. 
He's still like okay, a little green. He's like a slight, mm -hmm. there's a slight wobble. <laughs> like, is he? Kind of nods okay, along. So maybe we should um go ask Lily if she wants to come with us. And then, oh, you know, we can ask her parents if it's okay if she comes with us. And if it's not okay, then they can come with us too, if that's okay. That sounds like a plan. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea yeah. what you just said, but I'm always gung ho for That's your plans. rather fast. Oh, thanks. The you the plan was rather on. fast. Mm, the speaking, yeah. Mm. Oh, um, sometimes that happens. Uh, Especially I've always wanted to try drink. coffee, um, and but I think it would make it worse. But it's really all I want in the world is to just drink a cup of coffee. I've never I've never been allowed. I can't even get it at the Great Hall. Um, sorry. Can sometimes I. Up? Yeah, can I? Hogsby, can I get it? She got coffee. Do wizards drink coffee? Because I really I want to know try if they it. They serve coffee at Hogsmeade. Oh, that's okay, I guess. Butter beer is also fine. Uh, specifically, but, but, you are well. Hogsmeade is is a, is a town. It's not a, a shop. Perhaps you're thinking of Honeydukes, or maybe even um, Madam Puttyfoot's tea shop. Ah, uh, 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 well. Well, honestly, I'm a muggle, so I don't Maybe really know even... anything. Well, no, yes. you're a wizard. Your family are muggles. You're you're muggle. Oh, born. right. Sorry, sorry. I'm a I'm a wi wizard. Uh, yes. Oh, wait, what, muggle born. Well. I think yeah. You can just use what you want, really. Okay. Do we get to have a party in the common room? Um. Well, I don't know what your what your um, classmates have set up for you or anything. Well, usually. What usually happens when you win a Quidditch match, Dad? You know. Yes, as I said. Uh, well, uh, sometimes there's a party, and sometimes usually it happens around the end of the year, as opposed to the, the beginning. Oh. Well, there will definitely be a party, Maisie. There's no way. There's no way there won't be a party. Well, uh, well even if there would be a party, we, we wouldn't all be able to go into the, the, the Gryffindor common room. Yeah, and that's why it's important that we go to Hogsmeade. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. And I heard there's hogs there. I, I mean, and me. Maybe, maybe Olive is planning it. That's such an Olive thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are, are, are we allowed to go into your tent, the, the non Gryffindors? Are we allowed to go in? Or do we need to wait outside? Is it like your common uh, room? Uh, yes, unfortunately, only only uh, the parents and uh, the actual uh, students are allowed in the in the tents. I would like oh, okay. to shake their hand and say good game. Oh, with the Hufflepuffs. <laughs> you can assume that you would have done that, like at the end of the match. You probably okay, okay, you know, okay. It's like you know soccer or football or something. You probably hmm. shake each other's hand at the end of the game. Okay. Anyway. Um, okay, well, so we can we, we can we, just assume that you already did that. Yeah. We'll wait here, then will you go in and invite Lily to come with us? Wait, I'm going to find Lily? Uh, I can do it if you want. I have those cookies and I could share them with, with the Gryffindors on the way. I got it. Don't allowed, worry about it. You can't, you're not no, you go. Can't go. I, I'll, I'll go with you. I'll, I'll go with you. You can't You can't go in. Um, I will have to. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, you're right. I'm not even a Gryffindor. Gorillas. But I can go in with you if you want. People could be naked. Um, what do, people don't get loud. It, it's only I'm yeah, sorry, dears. On. It's it's only the 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 team and the and the parents allowed inside. I mean, but I could look like I'm on the team, you know? Like I could just it's confidence. If you're confident yeah, enough, yeah. people will just assume I'm on it. Are you very confident, dear? <laughs> well, uh, I feel I Not feel anymore. like you. Are you? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't meant to be that was messed up. <laughs> that was meta in my head. <laughs> Red so hard, man. Dragged. <laughs> I, have this, I have this feeling that like this is the moment that your IBS flares up. <laughs> Clementine, full IBS moment. She's like, gotta find a bathroom. Where's my inhaler? Please help me. <laughs> okay, I will, I will. I will go back into the tent and try and find Lily. Okay. Uh, yeah, so inside you can see uh, that uh, the, the, the parents and the, the team that are inside are sort of like, they, they've all sort of gathered around uh, Harry Potter. 
and they're peppering him with like questions and whatnot. And it's a, uh, it's kind of like a, a mobbed scene kind of thing. The droopy faced <laughs> person, um, is kind of, uh, off to the side speaking with, uh, Rose and Lily and Ginny. Okay. Um, I'd I'd like to go over to to Lily specifically Lily. Like I don't want to break the circle of conversation, but mm-hmm. I would like to to go and try and quietly approach Lily. Okay. Yeah, you uh, you kind of head on over, and um, you can see that uh, Lily's there, and she's just having like a sort of a chat with with Rose and Ginny Potter and this is this droopy faced man um and he's kind of like uh, this droopy faced man is kind of like a patting rose on the back and whatnot um Lily oh hi hi Maisie um, oh hi this, this is um, my friend um Maisie hi yes we met outside Hello again. Uh, uh, hi. I do this really awkward, like, half curtsy and then realize what I'm doing and, like, stand straight back up again. It's And it turns into this weird, like, little bob, like I'm, like, somebody has said duck and I've just gone like that. Like, this really awkward. Yeah. Hi. Oh. And, and you can see the droopy-faced man. Uh, he's He sounds weird. Um, he, he starts to talk and he says... Oh, he- hello there. Um, hi, hi there. It's nice to meet you. Quite a game, young lady. I still feel like it's a Rose little. Rose is injury. rolling her eyes. <laughs> so is Lily. Have, have we have we met? Sorry, I can't remember. Have we met Rose before? Uh, you've met Rose. Rose Rose Granger Weasley. She's the uh, fourth year prefect. Um, and, okay. and cousin to Lily. Okay. Um, I, I think I just, uh, I like, look at her a little bit too long. Like, I look at her and see her eyes rolling and c- kind of confused by it. I linger probably a little bit just too long and she... But whether that's awkward or she notices, I don't know. But Lily? Lily notices? No, Rose. Oh. Yeah, um... Uh... Yeah, I don't think there's a role there. Um, she's just... She sighs, like, really heavily. And she says, uh, anyway... Um... So, uh, good job again, Maisie. Uh... Thank you. And, um... Yeah, I guess, uh... See you at practice. Yeah, yeah see you at... Uh, pra- practice, yeah. Are you going already? Oh, for... <laughs> yes, I'm going already. Are you sure you don't want to stick around for a little while? No, I don't want to stick around for a little while. <laughs> All right, fine. I guess I'll just be leaving then. Lily. Who's that? That's my Uncle Ron. Oh. Why is everybody rolling their eyes at him? Because he thinks he's being clever. He's not being clever? Mm. (laughs) She's thinking about it really hard. I don't know. He does this kind of thing a lot. He seems quite funny to me. I guess you just get used to it after a while. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, 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 um, my dad's taking us to Hogsmeade, and he said that my friends oh. could come. Would you like to come? Um, make a convince roll. 
And this will be whatever your relationship is with Lily. I, uh, I don't think I have. I don't think I even have her on the doodah. Okay. Remember, uh, that is one of the things that you can, in fact, do when you, um, I believe, uh, when you do your social activities for your downtime. Mm -hmm. And I think I made that for your advancements or your for your experience uh, options. That we could well. put a relationship with an NPC. Yeah. Oh, uh, I did hold on. Let me let me amazing. just double check here. Mm. I probably didn't because I don't want you to do it for. Really? Yeah, I didn't put it on there. Um, yeah, it's not. It would it would only be for social activities then. That'd be the only way you can. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, convince. Yeah, convince. Partial success. Okay, choose one. Uh. They, I think they need, they need proof. Um. In what way? They, they need proof. Uh, I, 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 I'm, uh, look, I can go and get my dad. Um, he can tell, he can tell you. So I'm going to actually change this in this case. Okay. I think it's going to be better if you do they go along with it for now. Okay, um, they go along with it for now. Just because yeah. her reticence um, appears to be related to the fact that her father is getting bombarded by questions at the moment. Okay. She's run um, into this kind of a thing before. Do I... Have I picked up on this? Go ahead and read between the lines. I can't remember what I did at the end of... I think I got Quidditch rolls at the end of Lost. I can't you did Quidditch that. practice, yeah. Partial success. Um. Okay, so... How are they feeling? Yeah. Um. I think that... Uh, Lily is appearing I guess a little overwhelmed um, but she's also looking Can like the a little be for Harry oh for him yeah oh how is he feeling uh huh yeah I guess um Hmm. I think that he'd be he'd be sort of looking like he wants to get out of there. Okay. He, he looks like he's a little done with this. You um, know? Lily? Li yeah. Um, I'm sure if your dad wanted to come, that would be okay too. I mean, I don't... Like I promised Don't to say and that, be. Rose. Um, you should stay around for a while. It'll be a lot of fun. Promise to try. Surely and there's like, lots of people that want to see you right now. You know, I chill about it. I, I, I'm. Well. Um. Uh, all right. I, I guess. Um. Mum. Um. Maisie. And, um, my friends were thinking about taking us to Hogsmeade. Uh, do, do you and, and, and Dad and, and, um, Rose? My dad s said that he would take m me and my friends, and I thought that, um, maybe you might want to, um, get, get out of here. Oh, I don't, sorry, I didn't mean it. I don't, I'm not trying to be much. Um, uh, uh, uh. Hogsmeade, eh? Well, I don't know about you, but that sounds lovely. Oh, Ron, would you <laughs> give it a rest? Please, it's so annoying. What's Who's Ron? I don't know who you're talking about. Is... It wasn't funny the first ten times you did it, Ron. What's going on, Lily? Um... I don't know what you mean. 
Ginny Potter? Oh, for sake, Ron. Just give it up. No one cares. They're all after Harry anyway. And suddenly, like, his, his voice sort of changes, and he says, Yeah, but if I wasn't wearing this, then maybe they'd, you know, be after me. I don't really fancy a, you know, crowd or whatever. Why did this... He, why, why is he putting on this new voice? It's one of the products from his shop. Um... Oh! His little... Oh! Oh! Oh, he's your uncle! He's my uncle. I get it. Just, just take off the costume, Ron. It's not even as good as, as a, as a, uh, as a potion. <laughs> well, I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> and, oh, and then I realized that I just said that a little, probably a little bit too loud. I'm still trying he, to whisper. He like to looks Lily, over. But... See, she likes it. Look what I can do with my face. He's moving his face around like it's made of clay. I, I, are you okay? Do you need a hospital? No, no. It's just a costume. It's enchanted. It's charmed. Can you Great, take it off? Huh? Can you like? Can you take it off like a mask? Oh yeah. Want to see? Can I see? Yeah. And he sort of like he takes it off, and it kind of it almost looks like the Mission Impossible, you know, kind of movies. Like they take the face off, and it's just like it's Ron underneath. His hair is all like plastered down to the top of his head, you know, and it looks like he's been wearing like a helmet or something. Oh, I, I see. I know who you are. You, you, I know your face now. See, I told you, she recognized me. Mm -hmm. That's because you just told her who you were. Um, oh, don't have to be mean about it. But um, I mean, I don't, I don't know how many people can come to Hog Hogsmeade. Um, I don't know if my dad wanted lots of people to come. Um, but I, you just looked like you m m maybe wanted to, to leave. Sideways glance at Harry. He's still like being b peppered with questions and things from the from the different uh, Gryffindor Quidditch players and uh, and the parents and stuff. Um, your dad is also part of that group, by the way. He's he's <laughs> made his way into the tent and he's he's like he's probably like oh um Mr. Potter you know like he's raising his hand and stuff like Rosalina <laughs> like you know. I I, f I feel like at, at this moment, I kind of realize what I looked like to Ginny when I was like freak freaking out and looking a bit weird. And I'm suddenly like really embarrassed. Like, oh no, I'm like my dad. That's so embarrassing. I should know, what is he doing? Like, sorry, but like, um, and I'd like to kind of go over to him and just like quietly like tug, tug at his I don't know what he's wearing, like a jumper or robe, whatever, whatever he's wearing. Probably, probably something Gryffindor, even though he's not a Gryffindor because yeah. he wanted to show his support. He's got like three like, Gryffindor scarves on. <laughs> yeah, like, like tug, just, just tug it, tug it huh? out and be like, oh, like, dad, yes, dad, dad, leave him alone. He just wants a bit of peace and quiet, okay? Yeah, that's a rare occurrence that you. Well, besides, see. I think he might be coming to Hogsmeade with us. No. He my friend Lily, it's uh, 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 he, he's he's my friend Lily's dad. You see, right. but please just be cool, okay? Just just be cool, right? Can you be cool? <laughs> uh, of course. Don't embarrass me, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to worry about here. <laughs> There's just silence as you're staring at him. 
Lily had. Lily leans in t- to you and says, Our families are really embarrassing, aren't they? Yeah, they're really embarrassing. Should we just get out of here? Okay. I mean, my dad has to come with us because he's our chaperone, but... All right. Well... Let's go. Yeah, okay. Um... Dad? Mum, I... Dad? Uh, when you uh, defeated uh, Dad, Lord I Voldemort, his, like, I jump up and grab his hand and like pull, like physically pull it down. But I'm little, right, and he's quite tall, so I have to actually like jump and catch it. And he's really strong. Like he's he's pulling a little bit away. There's some middle age spread going on, right? But he's really strong. So I feel like there's this moment where I jump up, I grab his arm, and I like hang there for a split second off the ground because he's just like he's quite he's quite strong and neither or you know and then i and then i come down this is definitely this moment where i'm in the air (laughs) (laughs) yeah eventually you sort of wrangle uh your dad jenny potter and uh ron weasley um and lily uh out of the tent um Ron sort of uh, is a, a bit disheveled, and he's carrying this weird clay face-looking thing um, in his in his hand. But yeah, they they walk out of the tent, and uh, you see uh, Jenny say, um, "I'll try and get your father, Lily. It'll just be a moment." All right, Lily. Yeah, Lily. I'm a bit worried about my dad. He might not be very, um... I'm, I'm worried cool. about my Uncle Ron. Oh. Well, maybe we can just pad them off together and they can have some butter beers and it will all be okay. <laughs> dad does like his butter beer. Uh, Uncle Ron does like his butter beers. And I promised that I will, um, try and be okay with your mum. Um, are we going, um... Uh, are we going to the to the Hogsmeade pub? Where are we going? Yeah, we're going. Yeah. Yeah, we're. I'm ready. We just have to go outside and get the rest of Swath. I think they're coming. Although Olive, maybe not. I don't know. I think she might be planning me a party. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where is Olive? I don't know. She had this thing. Maybe she's got a headache though, because she had like a hat. Like, like I don't know what it was. Did you see it? I didn't. It was amazing. So yeah, the rest of you sort of like see them coming out of the tent and whatnot. Um, Harry's uh, and Ginny are like, you probably saw Ginny for like a half a second and she like went back into the tent. Oh, Lily, so you're coming, Lily? Are we on? (gasps) Hey! Hi. Hi. Good to see you again. Yeah, we're so excited you're gonna come with us. It's gonna be super fun. We need to be careful about discussing business, you know, around the the you know, with the parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Very yeah, no important. Told... Are there hogs at Hogsmeade? Rosalie, I don't, I don't. I don't know if are there you are. Being, are you just like asking that very loudly? I'm asking them. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Are there hogs? Will there be hogs at Hogsmeade? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, you can see the the a man that you didn't notice before. Uh, he's carrying like a face in his hand, um, and uh, it looks very droopy. Um, different different look to him now, though. He's got very red hair. It's all smushed to his head. Did and... you take someone's face? Oh, oh no no no! Uh, sorry, it's just a bit of fun. Ah, oh, cool. To take someone's okay. face? Is that a normal thing? Is that a yeah, normal? I think it's fake, like a mask. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like Halloween. <laughs> Alex. We call it, uh, we call it, uh, face mask. Good name, right? Alex. Wow. Solid name. Very, it's Clever. exactly what it is. Yeah. Why did you say, whoa, do you know about the hogs at Hogsmeade? Yeah, are there hogs at Hogsmeade? I don't think so. I mean, it's something from the bacon. Oh. So bacon. why would they call, if there are also no high- hogs? Drinking mead. I just don't understand this place. There are no hogs with wards either. <laughs> also, Mr. hi, I'm, I'm Clem. Oh, oh it's Clem. Uh, Clem Goosanders. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, Ron Weasley. 
Oh, hi. Uh, I'm a muggle born. I don't really know I things, so. I thought your last name was Weaseltown. Nice to meet you. My name's Rosalina. Hi. Oh, very enthusiastic. And this yeah. is Alex. Alex. Hi. hi. Ron Weasley. Hi. Nice to meet you. I had I some. You know who this is, right? I, I had some huh? Weasley, Weasley Weasley stuff. Oh. On the train on the oh, way here. Great and... cracking. Oh, you and... you are the wizarding Weezes guy. Um, oh yeah. Me oh, and that's my brother. Right. Yeah, that's how I met everyone because I had some of the things that go like in. It's true. I, I had to run away from them and I ran into a train camp and then these people were here and now they're my friends. And then. Yeah. So, like, everything that happened, like, our, our friendship's kind of down to those, really, I guess. So, thanks. I mean, I there's some other stuff, but yeah. Yeah, Sounds yeah. Sounds like some it. peace disturbers. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Not us. Oh, no. I'm never disturbed the peace. The fireworks. That sounds like the swirly ones. Oh, yeah. you're talking about them. <laughs> I think we've oh, also we been never... called peace disturbers once or no, twice. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. You want to call I me mean, from my we pocket? Would not, not us, not ever. We're, oh, we're, what kind we're... is it? Well, I have some Gryffindor and some Hufflepuff, and I also have some mashed potatoes, so it's up to you. I think there's are, also a slice of bread left. Are the cookies different flavors? Did you do different ones for Gryffindor? Um, yes, a thousand percent. You can taste the red and yellow uh, flavors in the icing if you close your eyes and use your imagination. Cracking, I'll have one. All right, here you go. That's tastes You don't very even have to convince him. One. He's got a bit of a, like, he's, he's a bit of a pot belly at this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, he, he, he just, he, he'll devour the cookie. Hmm. That's a proper cookie. I, 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 I taste the Gryffindor. Wow. Tastes like bravery and Quidditch sweat. I didn't put any sweat in there, though. Oh, that's good. Could be so, the salt, though. Um, right. Um, so, uh. Looks like Rose isn't going to be joining us, though. Uh, hope you don't mind if I if I sort of join you. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! No, of course not. Um, you're more than welcome. Uh, I think yeah, you and my dad see. will get on quite well. They, they sort of like look at each other, um, <laughs> and it's a it's a weird thing. It's like if Ron was nerdier, maybe, and like. Uh, a bit more like Ron is awkward in a certain way, right? I think your dad is awkward in a different way, <laughs> you know, like mm -hmm. two different, two different branches of awkward. Um, but they kind of look alike a little bit, you know, yeah. uh, just a little bit. Um, it's, it's okay. we have an extra spot. Uh, one of our friends, the, the the hero of Hogwarts, is away doing yeah special business. So, well, luckily for you. We're probably going to bring along our own hero of Hogwarts. Ah, uh, who's that? So we're not doing any heroes then? Good. Ron, Ron's looking completely confused. He's like looking around like, what? Um, you said that you, you're going to bring your own hero of Hogwarts. Uh, we have one, but who's who's your hero of Hogwarts? <laughs> you said you were Muggleborn, right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like I didn't right. even know this place existed until like last the summer when I came here. Right. I, I, did Seems I miss like the we'll memo? have a lot to talk about tonight. Okay, if you want. Have you been to Hogsmeade a lot? Is there anything you recommend <laughs> to have? Really? Of course. Good. Good, because... We like lots of things, but I think everyone in this group can agree we so like... What's, what's the plan <gasps> can then? Can you are get we, coffee there? What's the plan then? Are we going to uh, the three broomsticks? I, I don't know. I was, Dad, what's the plan? I, I had planned on uh, having a little... Well, I was going to take everyone on a little shopping trip uh, into, into Hogsmeade and... Uh, I, I thought we would go to Madam uh, Puddyfoot's tea shop. I could really... Use a delicious, really, Madam Puddyfoots. Come on, 
Surely they can have some butter beers. They are a bit young, aren't they? Oh. Um, I, I did just win a Quidditch match. So she really did. Yeah. And she didn't yeah, have was... to do so well, but she did more than more than well. Uh, she did better than she's everyone an else. Yep. She's an not even. A, she's just. She defines ever. achiever. Yeah, one of the best Quidditches I've ever seen. Uh, the, the, you know, the it might be the only right now, but that's okay. It's still the best. So uh, approaching yeah. uh, nearby is actually uh, Scorpius and Albus Severus uh, Potter. Um, they 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 um, they kind of like hey. nod their heads towards you, um, and uh, Albus walks over to Lily. And um, he just he'll they'll they're very awkward themselves, and they kind of like they'll like nod their heads. They do that like polite wave kind of thing, and uh, they'll walk over to to to. Uh, I think Scorpius stays away a little bit. He's probably keeping socially distant, and um, <laughs> aren't we all? Yeah, um, <laughs> but Albus will like walk up to Lily and and. Uh, um, he'll like just say, uh, nice game, uh, to you, Maisie. Uh, thank you. Do I know who he is? Uh, oh, wait, no, is this but the get? this is no. Clem and Rosalina. No, no, uh, Albus. And he'll, he'll again, he'll, hello, like sort of oh, that, hi, like hi. really shy hello. Hi. Can I get to see you again? Thanks. Sup? <laughs> oh. Um, but otherwise, I don't think you do know who he is. Um, uh, thank you. I, uh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Macy. Can I read Albus. the room and see? You want to read between the lines? I want to read between the lines and see if Maisie, like, knows what's going on so I can, like, casually So you want to read in. between the lines for Maisie? Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. Roll your relationship with Maisie, too, if you have Ooh. Uh, Heart roll. Yeah. Ten. You can ask me two questions, or ask Maisie two questions. You can read them like a book. Um, okay. Well, really, I just wanted to see if I could, like, notice that she, um, doesn't know who this is so that I can tell her who this is. So yeah, I think, I think you can tell that she just doesn't have any real idea who this is. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna like quickly lean in to her ear, like, "Hey, so this is Albus, um, Severus Potter, and he's uh, he helped us find you. Um, he helped us get into the place where we could uh, find the thing in the dungeon. Uh, he's really he's really cool. Um, and uh, just so you know, he's chill, so don't feel weird. Okay, thank you. Bye. He knows about he knows about all the no. We thing. didn't tell him. We didn't tell him anything, but he did help us get uh to the place where we found the plaque to put on the thing." Oh. So he hit him. He's cool. And does he know it was to find me? Ah, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just I turn back to him. Um, it's really he's, nice to meet you. Thank you. He's like Thank you for... chatting a little bit with Lily. You just kind of hear him say, "Like, is is Dad here and, and Mom? Yeah. Are you gonna talk to Dad? Um." Just, no, I don't think so. Um, just tell mom I said hi, all right? And I'll see you later. Bye. And he just kind of walks off quickly. Oh. I, I, I'd, I'd like to follow him over to him and Scorpius. Is there, kind of over there. Okay. Guys, real quick. Um, I don't think I remembered to say thanks, but when you sh showed us that place, remember, before? That helped us get... It helped us a lot, so I just wanted to say thanks for being cool. Um, yeah, no, no, no problem. No problem. Yeah. You're welcome. Right, so if you guys want to hang out with us, it's okay. And if you need help for anything, then you like we kind of owe you one. So 
They kind of like you'll be able to find us. We always have the same table, thrown with the water damage. They they look at each other, kind of like sort of. They do that like non acceptable acceptance thing, you know, where they kind of like shrug mm-hmm. and smile. Yeah, I just, everyone else feels the same, so you know, give it a shot. Oh, all right. Um, yeah. Thanks. 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 Um, see you then. It's at this point that you see Harry Potter sort of uh, walking out of the tent with Ginny Potter. Um, right behind the group, right? Um, and Harry and Albus sort of like see each other for a second. And Albus... I don't think I'll make you do a roll here. Albus looks a little angry. Hey, is, is everything okay? It's fine. Albus. And, uh... Harry just kind of like sticks his hand up like and waves and Albus and Scorpius um, kind of like walk off. Just ignore him. Right. Well, thanks. Oh. See ya. I walk back to the group and give him a look. What? What's up? I just went over there to say like, you know, thanks for helping us out because I don't think I remember to do it and I saw them. Yeah. <gasps> I'll see yeah. you. Thanks. And then it was a little awkward, <laughs> you know, with the, and he looked angry and I didn't, oh, no. I think if you look at Ron, uh, Ron has started to go through a good chunk of your rationed cookies, Rosalina. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I feel like you just keep offering him cookies because he's like devouring them. A thousand. Per- he's moved on to the Hufflepuff, actually. Yeah, he's eating. <laughs> like, oh, Hufflepuff. Yeah, it tastes just like Hufflepuff. Maybe if I have another. Yeah, yeah. Then you can really pick up the distinct flavors. Right. Did he eat need the one that was to find out? Mm-hmm. Has he eaten the one that was turned into a badger, or did you keep that safe and separate? <laughs> no, no, no. That one got stolen and that returned was, into a badger. Was, that was. That was uh, crumpled into some mashed potatoes that some unfortunate student ate. Oh, yeah, so it was. <laughs> She's still I'm wondering about, about the existential <laughs> consequences of that move. Um, my moral compass feels askew. Are we going? Can we yeah, go? Let's, um, yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. I, I, I brought my, my, my money anyway in case we're going to buy yeah. stuff, but then, you know, Olive splashed out for all the food, so I've still got plenty if we want to get snacks or other stuff at Hogsmeade. Um, it just, it. um, it just be nice. I, I really, I really need the bathroom. Like, I was so nervous before the game that I peed yeah. like, a, a lot. And then I drank loads of water, and then, um, now I just, I, I'm really bursting. Okay, how long is it to Hogsmeade, Dad? Can we, um, get, should I go now or should I go when we get there? You Isn't just now realize you just now realize that Harry Potter and Ginny Potter are like right behind you after you just talk about pee. <laughs> oh, hi. oh hi! Hey, hi! I'm Clem. It's nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, uh Harry. Nice to meet you. Hi, Harry. Nice, nice to meet to you. Harry. Nice to meet you. Just all the time we have to pee. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna hit a bathroom break and then we can all go. <laughs> nice to meet you, Harry. <laughs> nice to meet you. Ah, uh, hey, nice flying. Oh, um, thank you. Um, I thanks. think your chant had a lot to do with it. I came up with it myself. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was like a charm. No, those are illegal, probably for sports, huh? It was like. Yeah, I don't think we can do that. It like was a lucky Team charm. Spirit. And Team Spirit also helps. No, also, she's just an amazing flyer, Alex. Yeah, she could have done why, it without us. That's, that's why the she's that good. Says, You're amazing. It's a mix of amazing and amazing. So it looks like we agree. It's just nice to have really good friends that, um, like, cheer you on, you know, Mr. Potter? Yeah, right. Definitely. Um, so, Hogsmeade? <laughs> yeah. 
yes, uh, that sounds wonderful. Uh, hold just me, like elbow hold him. him like just, el- I just <laughs> elbow my dad. <laughs> and that's a good place for us to take our break. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard for me to not just geek. <laughs> Just go on a hug with Harry Potter, no big deal. Yeah, just cash. Just cash. (laughs) Just introduce myself to Harry Potter. No big deal. (laughs) Is she a robot or is she Murgles? No one knows. Um, (laughs) uh, Yeah, so uh, thank you everybody so far for joining us. We're going to take a little bit of a break here. If you have not done so, please go follow these lovely people. If you would like to download this system and follow these people, or one or the other, whichever you want to do, you can head on over to tablestory.tv slash W-A-W, where you can click on all their links, follow them on all the places. Follows are free. Go make it happen. And uh, make sure you follow this channel here, follow twitch.tv slash tablestory. Um, that's that's the way that you can help in a non-monetary way support these people and, and us. And uh, go check out our YouTube channel, uh, also Table Story on YouTube. And if you want to help in a monetary way, support these people, head on over and go use your Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime or go throw them a sub. Get yourself some emotes. Go support them. They're, they're lovely role players. They're lovely people. Go support them. And um, if you want to help Table Story in, in a monetary way, you can check out our Patreon at uh, tablestory.tv slash pledge where you can see uh, we've got shows available MP3 format. Um, PB is doing something special with her show called Gone uh, that recently started. She's doing high-quality podcast versions of that show up on the uh, Patreon with stereo sound. Um, And uh, we've got character art. We've got uh, lore drops. We've got character sheets. We've got all kinds of stuff up there. Go check it out. Um, We'll be back in just a little bit. Hang tight for more Table Stories, Witchcraft, and Wizardry. Back in just a little bit.
Welcome back, everybody, to Table Stories Witchcraft and Wizardry. We return as the group is taking a shopping trip to the Hogsmeade shops. To the mall. So, uh, Hogsmeade. Um, it's not snowing or anything out, and the weather has not the best. It's it's cold and rainy. Um, but you are on a on a sort of shopping trip into Hogsmeade with the with the group. Um, so off you go. Um, in Hogsmeade, there's a whole bunch of shops. Um, let's see if I have this set up properly. Hogsmeade, you go. Um, ignore the snow. It's just the only picture I have. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, it's like a quaint little kind of village, cobblestone streets, uh, stone buildings and whatnot. And, uh, you know, it just kind of like has a, a warm kind of like homey little quaint village feeling to it. Um, and, uh, it's just, it's filled with a bunch of shops and things. Uh, I don't know how great this is going to show up on stream. We've got a little map here. Some of the, some of the, uh, different shops. Um, there's also some, if you take a gander in your rule books... Page 36. Yes. There's a list of Hogsmeade shops. Um, and uh, there's Dervish and uh, Banjas? I think it's Banjas. Um, looks like it sells magical instruments. There's Dogweed and Deathcap, a herbology shop. There's Dominic Maestro's Music Shop, uh, another music shop, uh, or a music shop, rather. Uh, there's Gladrag's Wizard Wear. Looks like a, a clothing shop. There's uh, some socks on display um, that probably, if you get close to the window, there's a bit of screaming that happens from the socks. Um, there's a uh, hairdressing salon. There's the Hogsmeade Post Office. You can see owls sort of flitting in and out. Um, and there's the uh, Hogsmeade Station. Uh, that would, I guess, be... I think it's opposite from the way that you guys came in. Um, there's Honey Dukes, which is like a sweets shop. Um, you'd be familiar with the cart that was on the, on the Hogwarts Express. That's a Honey Dukes cart. Um, so a lot of the, like, snacks and goodies and things, they have all those kinds of things at Honey Dukes. Uh, there's J. Pippin's Potions. I guess there's no relation. There's also Madam Puttyfoot's Tea Shop. There's a branch of Ollivander's Wands. There's the, uh, Potage's Cauldron Shop. There's Seridwin's Cauldrons, Scriven's Shaft's Quill Shop. There's the Spint Witch's Sporting Needs that sells a variety of Quidditch equipment. The Hog's Head Inn, which is a dingy looking pub. The Magic Neep, which is a green grocer. The Three Broomsticks Inn, another pub. This one looking significantly less disheveled than the Hogshead Inn. Uh, there's Tomes and Scrolls, a bookshop. There's Wizarding Wireless Network Headquarters, a popular radio station. And Zonko's Joke Shop. Are you going to any specific stores? Have I been here before, Wack? 
I don't think so. Uh, okay, where do we want to go? Um, uh, I heard there was a candy store. Um, I heard there um, is also. I was thinking maybe we stop in the potion shop and have a look at the hair potions. Just in case, maybe buy stuff. one. Da, da, can, we can... Go and see, can we go and see the Quidditch stuff? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, the, the, the Quidditch, oh, yes, the Quidditch. Have a look at the brooms. Right, the Quidditch. No, even. Shop. I was, uh, I was thinking going. that um, bookshop could be cool, uh, but I'm cool with whatever, whatever you guys want to do. Yeah, it could be cool as well. I, I feel like I've already grabbed Lily's arm. Like, I, I'm not even paying attention to whether my dad says we could go already. Like, I've just grabbed Lily's arm and I'm like, we're off on a mission, like like speed walking, trying to find anything to do with Quidditch. Sure, sure. It's not hard to find. I mean, it's it's basically right off the main street. Um, and uh, Ginny, uh, Ginny Potter sort of says, uh, I'll look after them. And she sort of, uh, sort of runs after you and Lily. Right. While well, she's away, we should go into Honeydukes and get lots of sweeties for her and celebration. Maybe Hi. if there's a cake. Do you think they'll have a cake? Oh my oh, god, that's a good Please idea. Just walk straight there right now. My pockets are empty. That sounds like a plan. Right, Harry? Come on, we could go to Honeydukes. Ron. You've got cookie crumbs all over your shirt. I think they're kind of re- nice, like an accessory for the outfit. Um, and then we can go to the bookshop if you want to be more sensible, I guess, is what... Yeah. No one... So you guys Honey don't Dukes have to come with is? me, I just want to go. I'll come with Honey you, Dukes. I want to be sensible. Honey Dukes, then off to books. <laughs> hey, what about the hair potions? I got that. <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah, the hair potions. Oh, hey, stop we'll, on the we'll, way. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. stop in real quick for, for okay. a hair grow potion so we can make Perfect. the the fly. What did we? What did, what nickname did we decide on? The amazing fireball. What's that? That sounds like a wonderful firework. Oh, oh we're we're trying to come up with. Um, like like a a nickname for Maisie when she flies because her hair goes and because it's like a fiery color and it looks really cool. So we were thinking we come up with a good nickname and we're gonna get like a hair growth potion so her hair grows even longer. So it's like it looks like a big fiery trail. And we're trying to think maybe the amazing fireball. We're still working on that name subject yeah. change, I guess. That sounds like a plan. Uh, what if we could enchant her hair to actually glow like fire? Well, you can't really that... enchant anything when you're playing a Quidditch match. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, rules. Yeah, sorry, I don't know those rules. So, uh, and they kind of, like, Ron and Harry kind of, like, share a look. Sounds like one of our plans. We had better plans than that, didn't we? Hey, wait, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Not that bad of a they kind plan. of like look at each other. <laughs> they kind of like look at each other awkwardly. And Harry like elbows Ron in the ribs. Ow. You should have seen some of our other plans. They were incredible, <laughs> is what she's saying. And they were upstanding Very the plans of following upstanding the rules. students who Yes. Let's do what they're told. I would uh, by Professor told. McGonagall many times. We just oh. listen. Oh yeah. Every t- every Listeners. Time. Never talk yep. back. Never, not Good once. Students. Yeah, right. definitely. Just making points, not losing them. Who's yeah, a I mean, point? We, we, we Me? made lots of points. I mean, Who would ever? So many <laughs> points. Yep. Yeah. So into Honey Dukes you go. <laughs> um, and... Uh, there's not a ton of people in here. Um, but there's like a decent amount, um, kind of moving about here. Um, and, uh, what are you looking to buy? 
Uh, we, um, okay, cake. so a cake. A cake a that, cake. oh, maybe there's like a picture of Maisie on it, and it's like the um, wizarding paintings, and it moves, and it's her on the broom, and she's like, yeah, and she's holding this niche, and then it just says, Maisie is amazing. And then, um, and uh, maybe it's on fire too. We don't have a picture though, for, for reference. Maybe we could draw one. Okay, what if we get the cake I'm and we recreate it. Maisie out of candy on top of the cake? Oh, that's a good idea. Will it move? Uh, when I wiggle the cake, the pieces of candy will wobble a little. <gasps> we can make the cake out of jello so it wobbles. We can make that's jello. We're cake, in the middle man. of a candy store. Oh, sorry. I got excited. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, take over the kitchen, make a plate of jello. As soon as, down by the way, time. as soon as you like walk in, it's just like. All sweets and like baked goods, and like there's oh. all different brands of various candies and things all about chocolate galore. Um, but, but oh. I didn't look, I was just talking, and now can we buy everything? Do you guys everything? believe in heaven? Um, now, yeah, uh, focus, okay. focus. We need to find a cake first. We need to focus and find Maisie the congratulation cake. Well, what if we just bought her you? one She's of everything? Left. She's touching the walls, <laughs> just like raking her hands down the shelves of candy. Uh, okay, Clem, we've lost Rosie, but okay. you and I, we, we can... Yeah, we can we, put our heads together. We should ask the 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 person, person. about the... Yeah. the, the Store Custom I'm sure they have a fancy cake. name. The, the confectioner. The confectioner? Confectioner? Is it the French? confectionery cashier? <laughs> okay, let's just do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, excuse me. Excuse, excuse, excuse me. There's like a line. Hi. Probably like oh. a line oh. in front of a. I think oh, that no, there's they, a line. They'd be similar, like a. um. Uh, there's a line we can't do it. You know, like in, in, in any kind of like bakery, there's just like a you know like a, a glass display with various cakes, and they're probably mm. like animated cakes. You know, like they probably have um, cakes that are doing like different things on top of the cake. Like you see people like maybe having like a snowball fight or something. You know, like the the icing is like throwing icing at itself. Oh, I wonder if they have a snitch cake. That's we should, oh, yeah, Quidditch we should catch a they snitch, would definitely, a snitch for her because yeah. she caught a snitch. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, okay. Um, do you need me to, to, sir? Um, there's like a bunch of people that are kind of like milling about, but there is a line there. Are you trying to wait in line, or you just like go up like all eager and ready to order? Oh, I guess I would wait in line. Yeah, okay. we'd, we'd wait. I'm a good Canadian <laughs> queuing. Okay. There's a wand made out of licorice over here! Yeah, and there's a little display for the licorice, licorice wand set up. So, like, there's a wizard that, like, is casting a spell. You know, it's kind of like a... It's it's like an animatronic kind of thing. It's all, like, rickety, though. And it, and you can hear, like, the, the, uh, the wand, like... You know, like, kind of uh, bend down, and, like, the spring is, like, a bit um, rusty. And uh, the wand actually, like, looks like it casts a spell. Um, and on the other side, you see, like, a, a display of chocolate. Uh, and it, it's sort of like the chocolate starts to, like, explode um, and uh, sort of, like, fall into itself. Like, there's, like, a chocolate fountain there. Every time they, like, look back at Rosie, she just has more in her arms. They, like, look away and Outside. they check back on her like a toddler. Out, out of the <laughs> chocolate fountain, you see, like, chocolate frogs sort of, like, jumping. As soon as you grab one of the chocolate frogs, it sort of, like, dissolves and, like... <laughs> There's a display of, like... Did I witness like, all of that? <laughs> Yeah, if you looked over there, sure. Yeah, we're that has some troubling consequences. Rosie. Definitely. Yeah, we, we we need to we need to get her out of here before we lose her entirely. Um. Yeah. Well, okay. Here's our option. We can wait in this line, which could take forever, because look at all these people, and also, 
um, people. Or we can get Rosie out of here, um, and we can just really splurge on like a really big um, thing for, for Maisie at the, like a butter okay. beer that has lots of sprinkles on it. Is that a what thing? If, what if one of us goes in and, and wrangles Rosie, and the other one waits in line? Okay, um, I'll wait in line. I was gonna say I'll wait in line. Okay, I'll wrangle Rosie. Okay, good, because she gets feisty around Oh, I can handle it. I can handle it. I don't know if I'm strong enough to, like, yeah. Okay, I'll take, I'll take care. I I got you. Mr. Skyler would probably, if you, if you talked about this cake idea, Mr. Skyler probably Mm -hmm. would be the person that would be, like, buying the cake, you know? So he'd probably be, like, he'd be, he'd be there. Um, oh, okay. I oh, think that um, Harry, though, is like nowhere to be seen. He's probably <laughs> avoided this place like the plague because there's a lot of people in here. Yeah. Um. Okay. I will. We. Um. I guess I'll stay here with Mr. Skyler. No, I'll go wrangle Rosie and take her out, and I'll see you stay here with Mr. Skyler, and I'll see you outside. Yeah, I'll help pack out the cake. Yeah. Okay. If you need cool. help, though, just you know, I'll keep an eye out. Just. Okay, yeah. Do this or something. That, that's okay. the sign. Okay. Okay, see you later. Okay. Good um, luck. thanks. I leave and head towards Rosie. Rosa, Rosa, Rosie. Um, <laughs> what you doing there? Are She's you, are you eating the kid? Can- are you eating all over it right now? Face. Okay. Uh, uh, we, we should, we should go outside. We're going to take care of the cake. Mr. Skyler and Alex Why has got it. Um, goodbye. It's a, uh, well, you know, how many, um, how many chocolate frog packs do you have in your arms right now? Like four, but there's like bubble gum and then there's like a cauldron cake and she's got like a pumpkin pasty tucked in mm. there. Um, Ro- Ro- Rosalina, Rosalina, um, well, sure, if you have enough, uh, money to get these things, you should definitely do it. But also you ha- remember that we can get this, some of this stuff for free, um, at the Great Hall. Not this candy. Are you sure? I've never seen no, it before. No, I'm not. No. Yeah, no. Okay, I'm not sure. Well, it if you want, great. if you can get into the line um, and, and buy it uh, with, where they're getting the cake. Okay, but I was you, just wondering, do you know how much a broom costs? Like a broom broom? Yeah, yeah. No. no for the like what? For, for flying. Like 20, 20 bucks. Oh. Uh. 40 bucks? But we don't I even have, have no bucks idea. here. They don't even have hogs. Why do they have bucks? That's stupid. Okay, 40 galleons? Hmm. Is a galleon a buck? 40 nuts. I don't, I never really got the, it didn't really make sense. I tried to figure out the conversion. Um, I don't think that but, I have a nut allergy, but I think that if I ate, if I ate enough of them, I would. Yeah, okay. I can see where you're, I can see where that argument you comes from. Sure. You're good, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll get in line. Are you buying a cake? Uh, yeah, I think, um, oh gosh, Alex and Mr. Skyler are. Huh, what? I want him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, look, when you grab him, then they melt. You totally bump into somebody, like, as you turn around. <laughs> it's, uh, it's 100% okay, Ron. He's almost doing the exact same thing that you are. We, like, back into each other and... <laughs> yeah. He just like he's got like a bunch of chocolate frogs. He's got uh birdie bots uh every flavor beans. Um he's just he's got an arm full of candy basically as well. Oh, that's a good idea. I should have grabbed some beans. You know what? Mr. Weaselton, I feel like we're kind of kindred spirits, you know? Uh right. Uh what? Cuz of the food we both have the same stuff. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Uh, it's well, it's Weasley, it by the way. It's it's Weasley. Weasley. Sorry, I don't know why I add the town in there. Weasel Town. It does have a certain ring to it with the town in there, but yeah. I kind of like it. You could start your own town. I mean, we have <gasps> a shop. Oh. That is kind of like, like a, a town. town. Yeah. There's a yeah. lot of people in. I mean, it's very popular. You've never Do been there. Them? No. That's good for you, sir. Um, Very... have, have you have you never been there? Uh, no. no, I've never even told a joke before. I've never once been funny. Get out. 
I think no. I think that was a lie. I think I lied to you. I don't think I did. You never told a joke before, Clem? Well, I've tried to tell jokes, but whether it's funny or not is up to debate. I mean, uh, uh, comedy is subjective. Maybe and... Mr. Weasley can help you. Oh, Mr. Weasley, can you teach me to be funny? Oh, no problem. Easy. Oh, cool. <laughs> Easy. I have to apparently I have to buy all these things, so maybe while you teach her a joke, I'll wait in line. Okay, so. So, what kind of joke do you want to tell? Do you want to tell um, like, a pr do you want to make like a practical joke? Do you want to like play a joke on someone else? Do you no, because I think that I think they're pretty mean. Um, because usually oh. practical jokes make people feel stupid, right? I don't want to make anyone feel yeah, stupid. Yeah, that's like the best part. Oh. I was thinking more like, hey, everybody, uh, welcome to the show. It's so what nice to see you and meet you. Um, it's a microphone. Uh, so I was walking down the street the other day, and um, guess what happened? You wouldn't be able to guess, you know? Uh, I ran into, are you ready for it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I ran into a, a pole. Um, I was in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I just right. made it up. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe I have a future at this, you know, now that I try it. Thank oh, you wow. so much. You taught me so much about comedy just now, Mr. Weasley. Like, I, thank you. I think, I think I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think you're something. Definitely. Oh, that's one of the nicest, one of the nicest things anyone's ever said to me about me. Right. Um. So, uh, do, do do you want any uh, do you want any birdie bots every flavored beans? Um, no. But does this place sell uh coffee beans? Coffee beans? Might have I've been trying to get my hands. Candy, maybe. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh. Okay, okay, the time has come. Clem, you got this. You got this. You can go and you can get coffee flavor candy. It's gonna be good. Okay. Oh, right here. Zippy Doo <sighs> chocolate beans. Chocolate coffee beans. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go buy these. Thank you very much, Mr. Reese. Oh, it's nice to meet there's you. There's a warning on the pack there. A warning? That's fine. I just go. <laughs> just walk away. The warning says one bean per hour. Oh, this bean's not going to listen. <laughs> <laughs> um, and by the way, the price is, uh, yeah, I would say I'd say probably four sickles. Okay. Um, you grab I, one I might pack? need your help with. Yes, I might need your help with the math on that because I the math between a sickle and a galleon. There's 17 sickles in a galleon, so you could just cross out a galleon and put 17 sickles down. Genius. Okay. And how much? Sorry, how how much does it cost again? Four sickles. Okay, great. Uh, uh, a box. They're probably, eh, I would say, maybe the size of like a phone. Something around there. Okay, cool. Your cell phone. Thank you. Sure. And they're Zippy Doo chocolate coffee beans. I'm so excited. Not quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you will, will be. be. Oh, you I will. will Get ready. <laughs> 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 um, okay. How many boxes do you get? I'm just getting the one. Really? Okay. Self-restraint. Okay. What's it like? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's this polar opposite image of Clem with this little tiny box. And Rosalina just carries, like, <laughs> arms full of things. Um, ready. Uh, meanwhile, Alex, you have, uh, yep. you've made it to the counter, I think, with, uh, Mr. Skyler. Um, and you, um, he says, uh, uh, so, uh, what were you thinking again about that cake? It's some, some sort of snitch. 
Yeah, a, a, snitch, a, a snitch cake. Do you, have, do you have any snitch cakes? Our friend caught the snitch in the first game of the season. We want to congratulate for snitches. There's sort it's of cakes. like a, a very motherly looking uh, woman, sort of round and short, um, that's behind the counter. Um, she says, uh, what you want? You said a, a Quidditch cake? A Quidditch cake, a, a, a snitch one in particular, if you have it, because our friend caught... Just caught, the snitch, then, or do you want anything else? You want the cake to be the snitch? Oh, yes. Okay, okay, we can do that, we can do that. Uh, so, um, did you want it to do anything? Can the, 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 the wings flap? Can do like that, can rings? do that. I'm not really creative. What what else can 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 magic cakes do? Well, it, it's well. I mean, it, it really depends on what you want. I mean, you usually when we do Quidditch cakes, it's uh, people usually get a pitch. Maybe some witches and wizards flying around on brooms. Uh, we've done the snitch cake, we've done a bludger cake, we've done a beater, uh, sort of cake, we've done, uh, you know, just the, 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 the wooden beater, um, you know. Yeah. I, I think a just a big, I think just a big snitch. Okay, okay, we can do that. Uh, no problem. That'll be, uh, let's see, probably take us, uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes or so. Uh, okay, good. And that will be ten galleons. Ten, okay. Ten galleons, you say? You're right. Um, of course. Ten galleons. I reach into my pocket and I, I count out ten galleons, put it down. Okay, good. Oh, no. No, my dear boy. I, I'll pay for this. Don't you worry. Oh, I want... I, we'll go half and half. Hmm... Because uh, well, then it's not like I got the cake if I didn't get the cake. Go ahead and try and, and convince him. <laughs> she, I understand, but she is my daughter. Well, well I, I guess that does kind of count more than... Okay, what if I put just like one galleon towards it then? So at least I got... I want to be involved a little Save bit. Your money. Save your money. Save your money. You, you, you look. You're in the street shop. Buy something for yourself. Maybe you could buy something else for her. I'll buy the cake. Don't worry about the cake. Okay. Do you, Do you know what other sweeties and stuff she likes then? And I'll, she I'll loves pumpkin some. pasties. Okay. I'll get some pumpkin pasties. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be here for the cake. I'll, I'll go and get some other stuff. All right. I, I bustle off and, and uh, stop by and claim and nosy. The cake's ordered. We're, I, I, we're getting a big snitch cake within the wings flap. Oh. I thought that would be cool. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. I'm just look like what staring at this box. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding it in front of my face. Look what like, I got, Alex. Look what I got. Okay. They're the, chocolate, the, chocolate coffee beans. They're, they're good flavors that go together. Have you ever had them? I don't think I've had those ones, but I've had coffee chocolate stuff before. I was never allowed to have coffee anything. Oh, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. I don't... Okay, I, I'm gonna get some some uh, extra sweets for for Maisie. I wish she likes pumpkin pasties. Is there anything else you think? Oh, jeez, that was so thoughtful. She likes? Yeah, um, pumpkin pasties sounds good. Uh, what else? We could get her a bunch of stuff. I'm getting a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, that, she's getting that, a bunch of stuff. Rosie, is that stuff for you, or is that well, for like share. everyone? Do you Everyone. Want, do you want my us to get my intention when I picked it all up? Okay. Do you want us to get more stuff because you can't carry anymore? Um. 
Probably not. I don't even know how much this is gonna cost. Honestly, I'm getting kind of worried. Okay. How about I help you with that stuff? What do you mean? I mean, I'll help carry it and I'll pay for some of it since it's a sharing thing. Well, I, I can help you. pay for some of it. We can I all pitch in. I worked a job. I have a side yeah. job too. <gasps> I tr I've been selling the mash. I've got plenty of money. You can't, you can't buy any of it actually. What? Am I still wouldn't let me buy anything? <laughs> Here, and I'll hand him one of the melted chocolate frogs. <laughs> you can buy that. Uh, no, uh, this is a, I'll get one in a box. I'll get, I'll get some in a box. Oh yeah, I'll get okay. some for, for, for me and Barney have a collection. I should pick up some while I'm here. All right, Barney. I'm, I'm going to just okay. waddle up to the counter and plop everything down. I'm just expecting it to be like at least five galleons. <laughs> I don't even think at this point she could count what she has on her. Uh, okay. So what did you buy? Um, okay. Well, I know there's quite a few of, of the chocolate frogs and there's, there's some cauldron cakes. And then I got a box of every flavored beans for Alex. And then I wanted a licorice one cause she'd never seen one before. And then the bubble gum, because why not? And, and then a pumpkin pasty. She got one of everything. But so I'm, it, I'm picturing, I'm picturing at least 10 chocolate frog boxes. At least ten. Yeah, yeah, and that doesn't count the ones that m they melted and she <laughs> ate, and she thought those didn't count because they weren't in packages. <laughs> those were testers, as far as she was concerned. Yeah, yeah. Like at the grocery store when they give you a piece of cheese. Okay. Are you trying to add it? <laughs> oh, I'm adding it all up. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna say fifteen chocolate frog boxes. <gasps> Are we going to have to do our wizarding taxes on this show, too, at some point? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Let's see. Ten chocolate frog boxes. Josie, what have you done? Uh, one. Every flavor beans. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll finally learn some fiscal responsibility by playing this show. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you learn fiscal responsibility every time you have to pay for something. <laughs> just that's just what happens every time you take out the wallet. Um, or is okay. it like is it like when you get your experience points, you can plus one or minus one to fiscal responsibility? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we'll have to add that in. Uh, one only one. Uh, Drupal's best blowing gum. No, no, there's definitely three there. Okay. Okay, and let's see. Uh, and it's a bundle of wands, so she can just have one bundle yeah. of licorice wands. Pumpkin pasty, so there's got to be. Okay. There's got to be three of those. Three pumpkin pasties. One of them's bitten already. Okay. All right, let's just do some math here. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> She's slinking back to put... <laughs> the chocolate frogs on the shelves. <laughs> okay, 15 times 10 is The embarrassing 15. moment where you're like, maybe can I just leave this at the cash actually? This one? I'll just leave these I'll ones. Just no, 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 that was the wrong price. I won't I'll take those. Yeah. <laughs> I misunderstood. I thought those were on sale. <laughs> <laughs> the embarrassment level is too high. I would do whatever I had to. <laughs> Just take whatever I had. I couldn't. It's put like when your parents. I would literally, I literally go into debt to yes. avoid that moment. Honestly, yes. <laughs> hundred <laughs> percent. As soon as, as soon as college hit, and I like <laughs> overdrew my account or something, the level of embarrassment. I was like, oh, this has got to be a mistake. I can't. I, I don't know what's going on there. I make so much money at college. Yeah, well, do loads of it. So much. <laughs> Okay, let's total this up. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much. Is it? But it's a lot of sickles, right? Yeah, sickles are blow of... galleons. Yeah. And then you can transfer them, so. It's... I'm yeah. gonna guess like six the galleons. Internet bank much. transfer some more sickles. No, more than that. I'm gonna guess. Oh my goodness, you're spending a lot. <laughs> 192 sickles. Is how many, ga how many galleons?
galleons is that? Oh, like right? four galleons. That's, that's easy. There's that's like eleven galleon, eleven point three galleons technically. Yeah, oh. so I think it's eleven galleons, five sickles. Eleven. Oh, I only have 11, 17. 11 galleons and five sickles, we'll say. All right, so I'm just going to... Pl- I don't have anything. I only have 12. I have I have galleons, so I'm just plopping down 12 galleons. And I'm going to be like, okay, okay well, it, we came you, here you, and we got what we came here for. You sure you don't want me to, to, to chip in? We can uh, help with that. Uh-uh, I have a job. I'm an entrepreneur. I don't need your money. Well, maybe we should invest in your company then. Yeah, I think that's a good good idea. You could, you know, yeah. You we can, can become patrons of the mashed potato. my friends and supporting my business by telling your friends about my mashed potatoes and not paying for my snacks that I maybe got a little over-enthusiastic about. But if you think about it, you're definitely going to share them with us. So we already will be taking about like 25% of each item. Um, yeah. So mm-hmm. she's just pushing her galleons towards the, pe- t- towards the person at the counter sure, and sure. just ignoring both of them. Oh, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you get your change. Why not? Does it come in a bag, or do I have to put these in my pocket? Oh, you get a bag. Uh, so okay. take Just... take off take off uh, twelve galleons. Okay, and then you've got uh, you've got twelve sickles left. Thank you. Just thank you very much. Thank you. This man staring at the chocolate just dripping from the rose. <laughs> Thank you very much. Had an incredible time at, at your store. Uh, have a good day. Very good vibes in here. Great vibes. Uh, are Thank we re- you. Oh, you're welcome. I like your I like your voice. You have a nice voice. Um, Ooh, thank you. Are, are we ready to go? Do we need anything else, Clem? We, Alex? We, 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 we're waiting for the cake. Uh, oh! The, uh, all the are they putting magic inside it? it the wings are going to flap. Oh. So cool. So yeah, that's the, incredible. Uh, I think there's like a uh, a moment that uh, you see probably right behind Rosalina is Ron buying almost the same quantity of of uh, junk, and um, uh, you meet up with uh, Mr. Skyler as well, who's got a like a, a, a fairly square looking box. It's not too big. What's in that? Pizza. No. Oh, and the, well, the cake is inside here, yeah, dear. Oh, I forgot about the cake. I was getting peckish. Oh, yeah, I'm getting kind of hungry and thirsty. Um, what's the plan now? Perhaps we could go to uh, the tea shop. I, I've been uh, quite interested in some some lovely tea. I think. Get tea with tea? cake is good. Yeah. My, my um, okay. grand always has tea with her cake. Should we hide the cake? Well, 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 well when you say tea, surely you mean uh, the three broomsticks, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that I, sounds better. As I was suggesting earlier, uh, uh, may I call you Ronald? <laughs> <laughs> Ron, Ron is fine. Thanks. Uh, Ron... Uh, uh, I just suggested that perhaps uh, tea might be more appropriate for... Oh, they just won a Quidditch match. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Are sounds more beer? fun. I'm writing my tats. No, no, no. No, no, I think it's different. I no, don't no, I don't no. think it's actual beer. Uh, well, well, even butter beer has a, just a, a little bit of, of alcohol in it. And they're, they're, they're I'm getting drunk at Hogsmeade. years old, I, I believe. <laughs> Rosie, little, are we going to get drunk together? Yeah, too yeah, young tell my dad. for okay. such things. Oh, come on. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm gonna... One time, uh, my, my, uh, my mom I'm let sorry. me try wine. And, um, it tasted wine. Um, she wouldn't let me drink coffee, but she wants me to taste wine? Now that I think about it, it's absolutely ludicrous. It doesn't make any sense. I think she said something along the lines, no, it was terrible. I don't know why people drink that stuff. (laughs) Maybe it's got some sort of magical power. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I got my letter and everything. Uh, right. And out you go. We switch scenes. 
into the Quidditch shop. What are you looking for here, Maisie? I feel like before we even entered, I was just like a gog at the window, like. That's a that's a good word. <laughs> oh yeah, there's wonderful stuff in there. What what's in the window? Specifically? I think you you probably see there's a Quidditch display just in the window that probably mm -hmm. has. I think it would have all the Hogwarts uh, stuff, uh, probably like off to the side, but it's probably something like, um, I don't know what the, like what the Scottish Quidditch team is, uh, but there's probably something there for like the Squ Scottish Quidditch team and the English Quidditch team, you know, like there's a, there's like a display for it. Okay. Like you see the brooms, you see like, you know, wizard like mannequins, probably like animatronic sort of setup. Lenny. Wow. Maybe one day we'll have brooms like that. Yeah, that'd be great. Can you imagine having those things flying around in in our, in our dorm, the, 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 she points to the like animated things. I'm just running. Thing. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Maybe oh, one wow. day. Maybe one day I could get a thunderbolt. And you hear like <gasps> oh. you hear Ginny like oh. <clears throat> a thunderbolt. <laughs> I mean, uh, um, yeah, oh, can you imagine? I just, I, like, I, uh, I feel like it was going through Maze's Maybe brain at the moment. Maybe one day is. you save your money. But we're not even allowed. Um, in I think you see, like, the, the broomsticks, like, the, the, the price, like, underneath, like, Thunderbolt 7, uh, 500 galleons. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, maybe one day we'll even be able to, um, have our own, I just, why are they banned for first years? It's like, it's, it's completely ridiculous. We can play Quidditch and we can fly and, and, and we can't even have our own brooms. Well, I'm pretty sure they do it. So you stay out of trouble as much as possible. I mean, I remember them saying something about special circumstances. <gasps> Mrs. Potter, do you think that they might let me have a broom? Well, um, didn't Dad have one? Dad got one his first year. Yes, but he was the first one in a very long time. Yeah, you have to understand. Your dad has a very special talent for flying. I'm not saying that you're bad at all. Um, oh, oh I've, oh, I've no, messed I up my words. No, I completely understand. Um, like, nobody, no, nobody could no, you're really, fly you're, like... You're really great. You're really great. But oh, Harry, I, the broom leapt into his hand. It was... Uh, it was a special case. I don't know. My broom didn't leap into my hand. It doesn't for anyone. He was very special. Can we go in? Of course. In you go. Okay, um... Is it are there people in there? Is it really busy? Is it... Um, there's a decent amount of people in here, yeah. I think uh, I go straight to the broom display, none of the accessories or anything, just straight to the broom display. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I mean, there's uh, the shop isn't only Quidditch. There's some other like things around. There's like a really small section for something called Quad Pot, and you see it says like. Famous in America. Quad pot. And it has like this little tiny section. 
giant percentage of the store is devoted to Quidditch. Okay. Straight to the straight to the brooms. Okay. Straight to the brooms. Yeah, sure. You see all different Attic. kinds of brooms there. Um, this specific store is focused on Quidditch brooms, um, like racing brooms and that kind of thing. Uh, there are other stores. You saw the the broomsticks store in Diagon Alley, um, mm -hmm. which is like only brooms. This place is more like a all different kinds of sports and things. Um, Quidditch okay. being the main sport here, I mean, it's mostly Quidditch. And how much would I know about the uh, the brooms and their history and their story? And I read about that. Give me one. Uh, is, does this count as a uh, Quidditch roll? It does, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So I can pl pop my plus one in there. Definitely. That's a 12. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's a bunch of different brooms. Uh, they use different woods. They use different uh, twigs and, and um, uh, like, grasses and things for the, for the end of the broom. Uh, they enchant them with different uh, charms so they, like, take less damage and those kinds of things. And they range in price. Um, as far as what they carry here... They're more like the higher end ones. So you're seeing stuff from uh, Varapidos, uh, a world class broomstick, 200 galleons. Uh, one from Japan, uh, another world class broomstick, the uh, Yajirushi, uh, 200 galleons. Uh, you see the. Uh, uh, it's a slightly older brand, but still kind of popular for people that are looking to try and, you know, um, get into Quidditch. Uh, the Turbo XXX, uh, a racing broom that a lot of people use for Quidditch. Um, often compared to the Airwave Gold uh, to see which one is better. Um, and uh, let's see, the Airwave Gold... Uh, I don't think you see that one. Um, there is a Firebolt Supreme for 450 galleons. There is the Comet for 300 galleons. A Nimbus for 400 galleons. The Siberian Arrow for 500 galleons. Everything seems to be like over 200 galleons. The only one that's a little cheaper is the 150 galleon turbo xxx okay and this is all i i know all of this stuff and the details mm -hmm. about each of those brooms and stuff yeah. okay oh, yes. <laughs> um okay i think um i go straight to the siberian arrow miss weasley uh, mrs we oh good mrs P P Miss Porter, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, Miss. <laughs> um, hey, look. Um, this is the one. Um, uh, remember? Um, we, uh, the, the 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 Nordic team, and they did the, the in the in the Quidditch World Cup. Um, in like the 422nd Quidditch World Cup, they rode on the Nordic team ro rode on the. Did you watch it? Uh, yes, of course I did. Uh, I, I mean, it was right before I was that. born. But it was so good. Oh my goodness, I learned so much from 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 watching that. The flying was so incredible, and I was always thinking, oh, maybe this would be the broom that I would get in the future because I just loved watching them play so much. It was just so incredible. Oh, it was just so beautiful. Can you tell me about your broom? Oh, my broom. Well, your broom. I I always like the uh, I always like the Nimbus. Oh yes, the Nimbus. I think go over. I don't know how far away lot, that is. Go over. A lot of Quidditch teams uh, use the Nimbus. Mm -hmm. of, of course, they're they're charmed a little different. But, um, they are. Yeah. I, I, in in what way? Well, usually uh, things get a bit rougher in professional Quidditch, so they're they're enchanted for a little bit more sturdiness. So, if, if I was to have a, oh, I'm sorry. Can I uh, can I ask you uh, um for, for a little bit of um advice? Sure. I don't want. 
Oh, um, thank you. Okay, um, if I were to get a, a broom for next year, which one do you think it would be the best? Because, I mean, um, obviously it's very different with with professional, um, but I know that obviously Nimbus is uh, really good, but then I was thinking maybe the, the Fireball, because, I mean, it is the, 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 the well, was the fastest originally, right? Um, and I think it was really surprising. galleons sitting around. In... no. Those are expensive, dear. You should focus on maybe just getting something a little bit better than what... what uh, I, I, uh, well, from what I saw, it looked like a school broom. It, uh, it was a school broom. Yeah. Um, maybe something a little bit... Um, well, a little bit better than that. Almost anything that you buy will be a little better than the school broom. Oh, um... I can't see anything really here that would be... Well, maybe in Diagon Alley. Um, the broomsticks store. I wonder if I can go in the winter, in the holidays, maybe I can go and... But then even then I wouldn't be able to bring it back and I... Do you think if I asked them if I could have one they might think about it? Well, it never hurts to ask. Th then I'm gonna ask. Then I'll... Lily, Lily like leans in and says, it might hurt depending on how McGonagall's feeling. It's McGonagall that decides? Well, it was in Harry's case. Um... It's really any teacher that sees that you're, uh, from what I can tell, um, that you're able to control your, your broom without uh, worrying that you might crash. Well, crash really badly, that is. Okay. Um, so how should, how should I ask them? Well, I don't know, really. I don't think that Harry asked. He just sort of... Well, I don't want to encourage any bad behavior. Oh, of course not. Of, of, of course not. Of he course not. sort of flew his broom when he wasn't supposed to out of flying class. And, well, he got caught. Like I said, special circumstances. Was that before he played Quidditch? <sighs> yes. So maybe I wouldn't need to do that because I've already played it. I, I don't want to get your hopes up, dear. Uh, I'm I'm not getting my hopes up. I just I just I just. I really like Quidditch. I think at, at that point I turn around and I see the comet. You said the comet was there, right? Yeah. Oh, look! Oh, not, not, not 16 10 seconds! Can you imagine? I mean, you probably can imagine. I'm sure you've flown it. I don't know if I've ever flown a comet. Really? Can you can you try these out? Are we allowed to try? Are we allowed to try them out here? Not usually. I know that Broomsticks has a little bit of uh, space to do it, but Hogsmeade is a bit smaller. Oh, okay. Um, I just I'd really like to see you fly in person. I'm so I'm sorry. I don't want I, I, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. I, I understand. It's fine. It's fine. I haven't, you know, I, I don't get really the opportunity to fly very much anymore. You know, now that I work, um, now that I work for the paper. I know, I just, um, you're just such an inspiration. <laughs> she smiles. I think at this point, 
Maisie realizes that she hasn't got a clue where Lily is. Like, she's totally just dropped her. She has no idea. Like, looks like, oh, um... Oh, Lily. Mrs. Potter, I don't know. Lily. Yeah, I'm over here, Mum. Oh, okay. Um, Jan runs off to go and see Lily. See where she is. Yeah. There's probably, I mean, there's like sections where you can buy like the different uh, Quidditch team official merchandise and all that kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know. Like the different team colors and all that. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, she's probably just looking at some of that stuff. Mom, um, can we get it? <sighs> Not right now. Maybe for your birthday. But please, Mom. There's a lot of that, like, whining back and forth and whatnot. Are you going to buy anything in the shop? Um, yeah. I, I don't know what I can afford. Is there on the, um, on the shopping list, are there the things about the, um, uh, the, like, fan stuff and Quidditch teams? Or? Um, no, but we can work it out. You can tell me what you want to, what you want to look for and I can figure out a price. Um, I think I'd like to, I'd like to get some, uh, some tiny brooms, like, I'm Oh, yeah, like little knickknacks be... and things? Yeah, kind of, kind of like, uh, you might buy, uh, in the, in the muggle world, how you might buy, um, like a, a set of, of wands, and you could get, like, specific people's wands in a mm -hmm. box, like, lined up against each other. I feel like maybe there's something similar with people's brooms, like the, the famous Quidditch people's brooms, and they're, like, a little bit enchanted, so they're held in this box, but they sort of move around a little bit. Something along those lines would be really cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, you find some, like, little, little knickknacks and things. We'll call it... Um, I'd say two galleons. Okay. I'd say two galleons worth of stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Got it. I'm going to put these above my bed, and then when I go to sleep, I That's can cool. look at them. And then it will make me dream of Quidditch. <laughs> Love it. And, uh... What? You head out, and you uh, you can see that um, uh, the group is sort of, like, outside. Uh, Harry has sort of rejoined the group. Um, he's kind of, like, doing his best to avoid people's gaze and, and staying away from crowds and such. Um, but you all, you all head into, I guess, the three broomsticks. And... Uh, you have a little celebration here for Maisie. Um, and the, the sort of snitch cake is, is released and you, you each get your first, uh, butter beer. Um, and it tastes like butterscotch, uh, I think. Um, it tastes like butterscotch with just a touch of alcohol in it. It's probably the equivalent, like, a little bit more than, like, a non-alcoholic beer. You know, just like a, just like a touch of alcohol. Um, but otherwise, it's kind of like a butter, a butterscotch. It's very sweet. Very sweet. This might be the best thing I've ever drank, yeah. drank ever. Ron's got a, um, uh, a butterbeer mustache. How do, how do we drink this all the time? Right, um, isn't mm, it good? Yeah. Mr. Mm. Mr. Weasley, you might want to... Um, uh, um, Maisie, like, licks her top lip oh, at yeah. him. Um, and then here, and then also the, here. To the, to and the there's right. a little pier somehow. I, I bet they I mean, a bit more to the other side, I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you just got keep it. going. You and pressed it. Right on, Ron. You nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> he smiles. <laughs> He's got this, like, crooked mustache over one side. Mm -hmm. And the snitch cake is, like, sort of released, and it sort of zips about the table and whatnot. <laughs> And you actually do have to kind of, like, wrangle it a little bit to get it to sit down on the plate to cut it and, and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I... I, 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 I didn't know it flew. It. I thought... Oh. I thought, I thought, I thought the wings just flapped. Would be... I also thought the, the flying surprised me, but it was a welcome surprise. <laughs> I figured you'd I like, like the snitch cake since you're so good at catching them. <laughs> 
I think I like stand on the table to try and catch it. Like, yeah. Like I'm jumping up and down. I'm not really trying to catch it, but it's I'm just not, kind of like not celebrating. It's not like a real snitch. Like it's flapping its wings really fast, but it's like it's like fat, you know. So like it can't yeah. go very quick. <laughs> it's got these little wings and it's kind of like flapping around. It's just uh -huh. it's slow, so it's easy to catch. But you catch it. Okay. And it opens up, and there's like, a, basically, there's like little cupcakes inside. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's so, so good. amazing. I, that was the <gasps> coolest thing I've ever seen. Mm. Oh, oh my like gosh. A, I, I kind should of like lower it make down a toast the table. With the cake. Oh, yeah. A toast. A toast. To quit it. <laughs> to Maisie. To Maisie Skyler. She um, Maisie. took. To Maisie, she took what was a hard experience and and some stuff that went down, but she turned it around and became one of the best Quidditch players that we've had on Gryffindor in recent history. And um, she's the best and awesome, and she deserves all the love. And so, cheers. Bit long, but a good toast. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> No, Ron, you still didn't get it. On the side. And that's a good place for us to end the session today. <sighs> and uh, it's time to do our end of session stuff. Let's do our end of session stuff do some uh, relationships to start off. Um, did you grow closer to somebody? If so, get a plus one to that relationship. If you grew further away from someone, a minus one to that relationship and uh, one XP. Who wants to go first? What are the chances I can give my plus one to Ron Weasley? <laughs> I just really feel like we've, we've or kindred spirits. We grew very close. I really want to give mine to, G uh, to, uh, to Ginny as well. Like, I've, but. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give mine to a player because that's the rules, okay? <laughs> well, you mentioned well, it earlier. Well, la -di -da. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give mine to Clem because she didn't mock me relentlessly when I admitted my fear of a feisty rosy, so. <laughs> there we go. There you go. <laughs> one to climb uh no 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 uh no plus ones to npcs no unfortunately not sorry who's next um, um I'd like to... go I'd, I'd like to do a job because uh, i need to save up for a bring no uh this is a relationship part oh Okay, no, I, it, she's like none of them. Cool. Actually, none of them. I would like to give my broom a plus says, one. Hey, them all. Says, you don't Jenny need to plus a million. I can't. None of you were good enough to earn my plus one. Don't we have relationships <laughs> with Lily? We, oh no, I guess we, we all don't. have a we all ha we have a rule about not giving a point. Can I give a point to to, to next to Olive? Because I've learned that she she had a hat and she enchanted it, and Absolutely. I didn't know that before. Okay, I know you said before that we couldn't give points to when people who weren't here. there or was it just yeah, that we, we can't take them away yeah i changed i changed the rules for uh for like the the relationship stuff um yeah if if i would i would like it if you would you do somebody else but i don't think i'm gonna restrict it okay yeah then i think mine goes to olive because i learned that she did this this amazing thing and got it enchanted and i didn't know i just thought she had styled her hair before <laughs> I'm going to give my plus one um, to Clem. No, I'm sorry. I lied. I don't want to lose all my points with Clem. I'm going to give my... <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to... Get him back. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to give an, a negative one to Alex. Wow. <laughs> Because Why? I never heard what he said about me being feisty at the candy store. And he doesn't think I know, but I know. <gasps> and that shit will haunt. <laughs> that will haunt for years. I'm sorry. I dropped an S-bomb. <laughs> <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes! It wasn't an F-bomb, though. It doesn't matter. It yeah, still it counts. <laughs> it still counts. <laughs> Glorious day. 
I think Rosie Lock just thinks that she's so lovable she can't understand why anybody would ever be scared of her and it's negatively impacted her. Yeah, it, it's the fear of being physically harmed by your <laughs> excessive excitement. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I should have went to the sports store and got some protective gear. <laughs> <laughs> Just show up in full keeper gear. Okay, here's some candy. Right, Don't worry. Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> you have, like a mask on. Murgles? Um, I am Murgles is going to give my uh, minus one to Whack uh, for calling me out so aggressively for being not confident enough. Because I felt that in my soul. That felt like it went beyond RP, to be honest. In your real relationship. <laughs> yes, I'm not choosing now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Clem is going to give her plus one to Rosalina, because we had fun in the candy store. Okie doke. I can't wait to find out what chocolate frog cards you have, Rosalina. I feel like that's your homework Can for next time. Can we roll for them? No, no, oh. it'll be your homework for next time. You have to figure find out which... Find a list and roll for them. Yeah. Okay, uh, and class is school roll time. You still have to see what your repercussions are for last week's uh, rolls. I can't wait till you find those out. That's going to be fun. What was this? <laughs> your class's school roll for last week? Was that not to do with the points? Oh, it's points, but it's also the classes and stuff that you took. Okay. okay so Everybody do a Maybe. mind roll, please. Hey, look at that. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, a 10 from Clementine earns Gryffindor 10 points to start off. And then uh, Maisie with a 7 gives them another 5, putting them at a whopping 320. I will choose some dice and make... Last roll here for Olive. That's a nine. So that's another five points for Gryffindor. Okay. Now I'll use the same exact dice for the others. Okay. We'll use the same ones. Uh, Rosalina. What what happens to you when you go study? What What occurs when you try to be, you know... A dutiful student. What happens? Is it just you just start start studying and then suddenly give up? What happens? What happens? <laughs> a five is going to be minus I, five. I, 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 <laughs> so much has happened. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So much has happened, and her her mind is just so occupied. Thinking about her friends and possible danger and, and past danger. That school just so happens to just slip on by without her even noticing. Yeah. 115 point buffer. Thank you, Machine Gun Laugh. Uh, you get a 115 <laughs> point buffer. Let's see if I continue to reduce it. A seven. That's five points. And that's the snake eyes. That's a double one. Uh, so that's minus five. 115 for Hufflepuff. Okay. Ravenclaw. Alexander gets a 10. Holy rolls today, Alexander. Wow. Puts you up to 205. And I roll a nine. That's another five. Last one. It's another nine. That's another five for Ravenclaw. Okay. Slytherin! Here we go! I'm so sorry already! That's a six. Minus five. Okay. Hey, that's an eight. That's a plus five. 
I'm already disappointed. <laughs> Thank you, Rave Turn. <laughs> disappointed before I even roll for the Slytherins. Hey, that's a 10 for 10 points. 75 points for the Slytherin. So again, we have the Gryffindors at 325 points. Holy cow. Hufflepuff at 115. The Ravenclaw uh, group at 215. And Slytherin at 75. Not bad, though, today for Slytherins. You got a, a net of a plus 10. A plus 10. <laughs> Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Don't worry. There's still a chance you can get the points back from some Quidditch matches. There's still a chance. Still a chance. All right? Don't worry. There will be more Quidditch matches to gain them back. If you win, it's 50 points each time. 50 points. Let's go around the room. Let's do some shout-outs to wrap things up along with your downtime moves, please. Zagonicus, would you be so kind as to start us off? Of course. Hey, everyone. I'm Zagodicus. Thanks for, for listening or watching or however you consumed uh, the, the, the session today. I, I hope you enjoyed and had a good time. Um, I am going to study for my downtime move because I feel like it's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> so that's a main You're roll. school. Studying is probably <laughs> helpful. Oh, that's a six. That's unfortunate. Bye. Okay, well, that's a failure, but I'm not. So come hang out with me in all the internet places. I've got a kiss everywhere. Um, and yeah, let's let's hang out and, and, and we can either fail together or succeed together. Depends on what you bring to the table, because apparently I ain't bringing much. <laughs> Thanks, dudes. That's a lie. Zagonicus brings a lot to the table. He brings his... <laughs> Happiness is excellent role playing. He's a good dude, and I love him. Go follow Zagonicus. Go sub to him. Throw piles of money at him because he's a great guy and a great role player. He's great. Go follow him. Go give him some love. Um, and of course, we miss uh, Nego Oryx this week. Make sure you give her a follow as well. Go give her a follow. Uh, shoot her some love. She's got no internet right now. It's horrible in the quarantine. It's 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 the the introvert's worst nightmare. <laughs> um, so go 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 show her some love, um, Mergles. Oh hi, um hi I'm Mergles. Uh, I played Clementine for you today. Um, right. So I would like to. Uh, I would like to start a club. I would like to start a stand-up comedy club. <laughs> um. Clem feels like she really had a moment there where some things really clarified in her life. Uh, whether they did or not, she would like to do that. <laughs> uh, so let's... Yeah, um... <laughs> okay. Yeah, go ahead and uh, make a soul roll, please. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Seven. So... Oh. Um, <clears throat> you tried to start a club, uh, but first year club ideas are often hard to sell. I feel like there was some kind of audition or something that happened, uh, perhaps to one of the prefects or something. Um, and, uh, you feel like you nailed it. Yeah. However... Yeah. Uh, you were not able to convince them to create this club. Okay. However, I will say, on a 7 to 9, that you learn a secret from one of the people on your relationship list. So do I just get to ask any one of these guys? Yes. Or an NPC that you have on your, on your relationship list. On my relationship list. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Well, that arc is over, so this is not the time for that. Because <laughs> I have a mysterious figure. I could have learned a secret from the mysterious figure. Um, who's the most secretive of the group? I would say Maisie is actually the most secretive. So I would like a secret I used from Maisie. I to have secretive on my traits, but it got replaced. 
Oh me. yeah. Yeah, I'm not so secretive <laughs> anymore. Is this a right. is this a, a DM secret? Like before what? <gasps> This is, okay. a, uh, this is totally between you and Clem. What you okay. feel like a secret that you'd cool. reveal to her. <sighs> okay. Okay, cool. That's that right. I'm going to make Maisie. <laughs> I was like, Maisie, DM me a secret. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to know all the secrets. Uh, this is great. I should try to make more clubs and fail. Well, <laughs> y you can also try to join an actual Hogwarts club. You don't have to try and make one every time. Yeah, listen, I'm... I'm a I'm a self starter, okay? <laughs> I'm a trendsetter. Uh huh. I, what were you trying to I walk you confident. Yeah, I I pave the road and then walk it myself. Mm hmm. You have changed her walk. Yes, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> uh yeah. Um hi, I'm Murgles. Uh, you can find me on Twitch Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. I'm animating a film live on Twitch. Uh, so you can come by and see how animated films get made because uh, we're doing it step by step and that's pretty cool. So, yep. Thank you. Thank you. Luxy. Hello. Um, Hi. I'm Luxy Games. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm Luxy Games. I'm playing Rosalina Earthcloud for you here today. I'm so sorry. Um, and uh, I would like to... Uh, uh, work another odd job. Okay. I was thinking that <laughs> my dogs are just breaking in and out. I was thinking that I would, uh, I would like to see if I could maybe help, help out, um, help out in the kitchen. Sure. Go ahead and make a two d six roll. You are nine galleons. Nine galleons. Congratulations. It's like today's tragedy never happened. Uh, <laughs> uh, hello, I, I, I'm a streamer here on Twitch. <laughs> my name is Lexi Um I'm actually going to be live tonight. Uh, I call my subscribers Clovers in the Clover Patch, and it's St. Patrick's Day, so we're having Clover Day celebration. So um, I'm going to put on a green screen outfit. Nobody knows that, so you all know it now. And I'm going to put myself in a fake bowl of milk, and I'm going to fill the bowl with Lucky Charms as people subscribe. So if you're interested in being a Lucky Charm in a bowl of milk, which I will be swimming in, that's happening tonight. I don't know how else to explain the weird stuff that happens there, but I also cut my bangs live on stream if you're interested in things like that. Uh, yeah, I am I let a snow leopard release from its, its cell five times into a crowd of people this week. I am a disaster walking, so... Stop by, it could be fun. <laughs> when Peachy played that game, Peachy, Peachy pinned pandas against each other in a death match, cage it's match. Like Pokemon. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> the snow leopard just kept leaping. No matter how tall I was making it, no matter, it would just leap out climb? of the cages. It can climb, so if you, yeah, if you choose the wrong it wall, yeah, it was climb. bad. And then I have wooden walls, so it's like destroying the wall, and it gets really stressed out when people look at it, which like I feel deeply and emotionally. <laughs> but I'm like, dang, I built you three caves already, kid. Just like take a nap in the cave. <laughs> Thank you, Luxy. Hello. <laughs> I don't know how to follow that. <laughs> Also, if you haven't seen Luxie's stream, like that's that, that is a genuinely fantastic uh, summary of what she does. Yeah, literally, just it's going. amazing. I have to see you, but I don't understand. But I'm I'll be there. Um, <laughs> okay, hi, I'm Golo. Um, my name everywhere is Hello. It's Golo, all one word. Um, I am a full-time streamer here on Twitch. I also do YouTube, so you can find me over there on YouTube too, or over here if you're watching on YouTube. Hi, thanks for watching on YouTube. Um, and yeah, everywhere else. Uh, I played Maze Scarlet today, and it's a dream come true to be able to be this obsessed with uh, Quidditch in public, and it be uh, socially acceptable. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate you making this happen. <laughs> um, so I was originally going to... Uh, I was originally going to do an odd job to to save up for a broom. However, Wack, now you've said that the social activities, w w when you can get a plus one or a minus one to a relationship, that can be an NPC? No. no. Oh, damn it, you changed it? No, I didn't change it. <laughs> but you said no. earlier, you were like- No, I, I, I said confused. specifically, I said, oh no, whoops, no, I'm not gonna do that. 
Oh, I thought you couldn't do it with one thing, but you could with another. Okay, in that case, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling for some. Oh, I'm sorry. You said jobs. social activities. Yes. Yes, yeah. that is correct. Oh, I can for social activities? Okay, cool. Because I feel like narratively, I feel I'm like sorry. Th that relationship with, um, I feel like that, that relationship with, with Ginny, with Mrs. Porter, um, has been a really massive thing for her. Uh, and I think that it, if, if, yeah, if I'm successful, I think that that would be a really massive thing for her. So let's give it a go. Um, By the way, fun? just random, uh, just a random thing for tonight. In case you were wondering where Hermione was, Hermione is the uh, head of the Aurors. Uh, so she is ultra busy and uh, it's probably really difficult for him for her to come out to something like this so that's why we didn't see Hermione tonight good because everybody kept saying separation so <laughs> yeah, Ron, yeah Ron was just so horrible that they broke up uh, okay a seven a seven you will get to add a plus one or a minus one to a relationship uh, I mean, I think I should probably uh, give it to uh, Hagrid. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ginny Potter. Sure. Done it. Uh, yeah. Now that you've all sort of chosen this and you've gone, I would like to point out that each of you will receive a plus one to Harry Potter, plus one to Ginny Potter, plus one to Ron Weasley. Because she hung out with them. And I think we can say you each got a plus one with uh, Mr. Skyler as well. How do I mark that? Do I just do that as normal? A plus one with my dad? Yeah. So good job. And uh, if you have not done so, please make sure you follow Colo. Did did you do you did your shout out right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hi. I'm playing inside tomorrow, and that sounds. I mean, that's quite apt, isn't it? Playing. We inside. all are. But We're all quarantined. <laughs> the game. The game inside. Uh, I will be playing that tomorrow and on Friday as well, uh, which is a cool weird pla uh, puzzle game. So maybe come hang out. Let's do it. Thank you, Colo. I'm Wax Steven. I have been your headmaster of doom. I've dragged the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today, through the shopping trip adventure. Yeah, we had a shopping episode. So what? So what? So what? They bought some fun stuff. We had a good time. It was a good time. Thank you all so much for joining us. As always, chat, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Much love to you. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for being here, and hopefully we brought a little joy into your life uh, while all this uh, insanity is going on right now in the world. Um, and uh, we took your mind off of things for a little bit. Um, and uh, thank you so much for, for just all of the support and the love. Make sure you follow all of these people. Give them a follow. Follows are free. Go make it happen. Make sure you follow Table Story here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Table Story. And on YouTube, go sub to us on YouTube, uh, Table Story on YouTube as well. And if you want to help support these people in a monetary way, go 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 sub to their channels. Go sub to their channels. Get yourself some emotes, um, and uh, it's a great way to support them. And if you want to support Table Story, one of the best ways you can do that is to head on over to our Patreon at tablestorytv pledge. Go head on over there. Check out our Patreon. We've got uh, roll. We've got uh, uh, podcasts. We've got MP3 versions of the shows that we do. Um, we've got lore drops. We've got artwork that's thrown up there. If you like the artwork for this show, um, that's actually it's been published in a magazine. Like it's actually been published. I mean, like the artwork. Murgles did that, and we've got that up on our Patreon. Go check it out. Um, Go check it out. Um, and uh, thank you to Colo. Thank you, Luxie. Thank you, Murgles. Thank you, Negaworks, even though you couldn't join us. Thank you, Zagonicus, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see you all tomorrow for Pumpkinberry Show Gone, the surreal thriller show that is super weird, and uh, it's, 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 it's a great time. I hope, I hope you'll join us. See you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. Good night, everybody. Peace out.